Hello, hello, hello. She's back, she's back, she's back. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. What's Are going you on? Ready to work? That's a longer than normal delay to YouTube. Is there? Yeah. Maybe it'll catch up in a little while. Oh, yeah, it's still playing the commercial on my end. No, it's not on mine. Not me either, but it took a lot longer than normal. So. Hold on, I need to pop out my chat. Hi, everybody. T's back to work. About time. No kidding, right? That was a long vacation, T. What? <laughs> it seemed like it was three months long. Do you want me to tell everybody what you were doing this morning? You're such a tattletale. T. You've just, got because, just because you like tell everybody your whole life story doesn't mean I have to. You have to create. Don't worry about it. Too. You got me for that. You got me to do that for you. <laughs> now everybody's going to wonder what I'm talking about. I know. Let's, see, let's see if they ask. We'll just make something up. I don't have to make anything up. I'm going to tell the truth. <laughs> the whole truth and nothing but the truth. So help you, God. <laughs> so help me, God. So help me, God. Hi, Nance. Hello. Hi, Nance. Hello. Rachel. Hello, Rachel. Hey, Rachel. Dora. Hi, honey. Dora. Hello, Dora. Leon. Leon, what are you working on today? What's what's today's project? I like to hear about your projects. What are you painting? What are you fixing? What are you mowing? What are you planting? What are you what are you doing, Leon? Well, he, said, he, he said he just got done watching Game of Thrones. So that was Oh, amazing. so maybe he's not oh, doing serious. anything. Pam Henry. Hello Hi, there. Pam. Thank you for coming in. Jim G. Hello, sweetheart. Hi, Jim, cuz. Thank you for being here. Greens Vintage. Hello, hello, hello. Saxton. Hey, guys. Hi, James Saxton. Cisco. Hey, James. Heidi. Hello, Heidi. Heidi, what's the temperature up in New Hampshire today? I'm curious because I have to tell you, I just have to make an announcement here in South Florida. It's 77 degrees. Wow. No, it's, it's July. 80, it was 86 early. It's about, oh, it's 88. It's 77 degrees. <clears throat> Isn't that crazy? Mm. Well, we did have a lot of rain today, so it probably cooled, cooled the place down. We had some crazy thunderstorms today. Holy cow. Hey, SoCal Lisa. Hey, Lisa. Welcome in. Mimi. Hi, Denise. Hey, Denise. Just me. Just me. She What's says, up? welcome back. Hi, honey. There's Jill. Hey, Jill. Hi, Jill. Jill, Jill, Jill. Mr. Kyle Elliott. Hello Hi, there. Jill. Goals? food and a hole <laughs> i don't know what the hole is for all right <laughs> hey tease hi tease it's the flower girl hello the flower girl hi the flower girl mary pisano hello mary jill says welcome back t thanks jill how is everybody today yeah. Pam, catch hey, any Pam. fish, please. catch any fish. She says, hi, Shriker. Sylvia loves auctions. Hello, Sylvia. Sylvia. Later, can we test if I can go into stream? I had to download Chrome on my Mac. Absolutely, Lisa. You just have to remind us. Believable blessings. Hi, believable. Good to see you. Mr. Frank Perez. Hello, Frank. D. Scott. All right, D. Scott, I do tell my life story. <laughs> no so it's, secrets. So T, it's only fair she tells yours. All right. No secrets with me, you guys. It's the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help me God. 
Go ahead, tell them. Oh, what I did this morning? Well, it's what I'm going to try to do every Wednesday morning. And if and if you guys don't know what I did a couple of Wednesday mornings ago, I'm doing morning pool aerobics from 9 to 10 on Wednesday mornings with the ladies. Well, some men too, actually. I was talking to her this morning and I said, are you going to head over to, um, to the store? And she goes, after I do my morning aerobics in the pool <laughs> with the ladies. Are you the youngest one in there? Yeah. Yeah. They're all much older than you are. Not much. I mean, there's a few. It's actually, they said it's starting to turn around now, the community. It's like there's a lot of newer people, a lot of younger people. Yeah. I mean, young per se, I'm, you know, 55 and over, I'm young. <laughs> that's, that's happening For in my community. <laughs> That's happening in my community. A lot of the older people have sold their homes. They've raised their families. You know, their husbands or wives have died and they've sold the big houses. And now there's a lot of young families moving in. Remember that message that we all got about the kids running across someone's lawn? Yeah, I told you we had the sim a similar thing pop up the other day. It's crazy. It's weird. Not in our per se, our community and someone else's community. And basically they were just saying, that the kids shouldn't be out yelling. So stupid. Who's the young lady at the right? Ed. <laughs> Thanks, Ed. He's like unrecognizable. Hi, Ed. Hi, I Sandy. Haven't gone that long. I was on last week. My goodness. I know, but you were off. You were only on for like a day, and I know. And and when I tell you, we just started today doing the inventory for eBay, and tonight I got to go home and at least start listing or sell similar because i'm not going to relist i'm going to sell similar everything but it's going to take me i don't want to put it all up at one time it's going to do like 10 a day you know for the next well, i don't know figure well, that out do, you, yeah. could do like, you could do like 30 a day yeah 30, i'll increase 40. it what i'll do is i'll start out maybe with 10 and then do 12 because then it makes it look like you're you know yeah Heidi says it's 72 degrees in New Hampshire. Oh, we've had a lot of rain here in South Carolina. Today it didn't rain, though. Today was beautiful. New Hampshire. <laughs> oh, look at, see, Rachel's in the middle of the state, 92 degrees. It's stifling hot where she is. See, I'm on the coast. So look at the temperature difference. Wow, yeah. And I'm South Florida. She's more North Central Florida. Donna, you can send the invoice. Okay, Sylvia, I was just waiting for an okay from you. I will send it tomorrow, darling. Thank you so much. Hi, Susie. Hey, Susie. I don't know how I got that cooler weather, but it rained here, Jill, all morning. The, the, the sun is finally out, but it, oh my God, it was raining so hard. But you know how close I am to the to the waterway, to the ocean. So maybe that has something to do with it. Carrie. Thank you, Tom. Thank What's you up, Carrie? <laughs> okay, just finished washing. Got and I Game have Thrones. Oh, Game of Thrones. How did you know that? Well, how did you not know that? I don't know. I don't know that. I just, just got watching God. <laughs> 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 to me that says got doesn't say game of thrones it says god <clears throat> oh prayers prayers to your cousin sorry she had a bad fall oh sorry leon sorry leon. that's a bad place to shoulder and arm upper arm oh jim g's got a sore back too so does Shriker. is that sharing too much information Shriker? Mm. a little bit it happens. Sorry. So you and Jim both have sore backs and I still have a sore shoulder. Jill says, I like water aerobics. I wonder if my community has stuff like that. I know my community at home does, but I, I've never partaken in anything like that. Good afternoon, everyone, says Kim D. Welcome in, Kim D. Closeouts. Hey, Kim D. Back pain does suck. You're absolutely right. Hi, Mary Ness. Welcome in, honey. Hey, Mary. Thanks for coming in. Look at you guys all strolling in. Thank you so much. 
Michelle O, it's so good Hi, to see Michelle. you. Michelle, nice to see you. Hi, honey. Michelle, Michelle O has been coming around. Hadn't seen her in a, in a really long time. Hi, Carl. Scott, Scott was an amazing show. <laughs> Denise Myers! Sorry, you guys. I'm really happy to see everybody in the chat. But Denise, 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 Denise. She's an old, old, old friend. Hi, friends. 81 in Austin. Unseasonably warm tea. I love water aerobics. Great workout. I made it fun and made everyone laugh. Would go by so fast. Donna, miss you, my friend. I miss you, too. Mwah. I saw that you were in Florida a couple of weeks ago. I was hoping that you'd surprise me. Um, and I saw, I saw your post. I don't think I commented on it, but I saw your post that you had a realtor call and, and offer you a crazy amount of money for your house. And, and, uh, I wish you had taken it and moving and moved back to Florida so we could drive around in the Denali singing at the top of our lungs. Like we used to Denise. <laughs> I just recently did that with Chris the Goose and Kimberly who came to visit me, um, Texas and Colorado. And I was thinking of you while we were driving around singing at the top of our lungs. It was awesome. Denise and I used to do that. Hey, Karen, welcome in, honey. Do you have hours and channels posted for the Christmas in July? I don't yet. I can tell you guys that it starts at, it starts on my channel, nine o'clock on Saturday morning. Shriker just dropped everything in the chat. Okay, and I'm going to sell for the first hour. Welcome everybody in. I am gonna say we're gonna welcome everybody in. The very I'm gonna welcome everybody in. I'm hoping T and Brian will be in for like the first 10, 15 minutes to welcome everybody in. But as we move from channel to channel, we probably won't welcome everybody in. We'll we just want to give everybody a chance to sell. So it takes up too yeah. much time. Yeah, I think we're just going to be like, hey, guys, thanks for coming on over. And I think we're going to get right to it. OK, so but in the, the very beginning of the marathon, we will um, we'll welcome everybody in. I haven't talked to Brian. Uh, maybe you can um, text him. Oh, there's a there's a mosquito in here. Um, there's going to be a lot of mosquitoes because of all the rain. Oh, it's right here. Go ahead. I dare you to land on me. No, it's not going to land. It left. So um, we're going to do the hosting channel is going to show for the first hour. And then the second and the third and the fourth hour, I'm probably going to each channel can do it the way they want. I'm probably going to allow people to show all three hours, but I am going to show in between in case someone comes in with a problem or whatever. I will pick up the slack. So originally we talked about T doing the first hour is us showing the second and third hour was guest. And then the fourth hour was us showing. Is that what we talked about? Yeah, and I think I think to make it fair and so that we have enough time for everybody, maybe like the last half hour I might show, like maybe just do the first half hour, last half hour and let everybody come in between. And then to your point, if there's somebody, you know, maybe, I don't know, maybe, you know, somebody can't get on the camera or just guys, make sure you have your cameras on. Um, you know, is having technical difficulties or something while they work it out. I'll bring some, if some, nobody else is waiting, you know, I'll show something meanwhile. Right. Hey, cricket. Welcome. I, God knows I have plenty of holiday stuff besides other stuff. Hey, Cindy. Jill says first come first serve. Yes. You guys, we didn't make a schedule, just way too much work. So we just decided it was going to be first come first serve. Whoever's in Thanks. the room. Not really. I mean, it, it, even though it's Christmas in July, it doesn't have to be Christmas. It could be Halloween, Thanksgiving. It could be just toys or games. You know, just think about like gifting and things like that. Is that Patrick? Patrick, Patrick stop. You're not moving to Canada. We love you. Now stop it. <laughs> I thought it was Pat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He has so many names, I forget. Yes. <laughs> he in on so many different channels and so many different names. It must be the trend. Hey, Patrick, you're welcome here, Denise says. <laughs> Thanks, Denise. Thank you, Denise. <laughs> Hello, Susan. Um, excellent question, Carl Bach. 
So payments will be worked. Each each cell is going to decide and communicate that, but we are still requiring free shipping. So the free shipping is is the thing. Start your item, your your lot off at thirty dollars. That's my best suggestion. But bring good stuff because if you get three passes, we're going to move to the next person. So it's yeah. just really important that you bring good stuff. Yep, yeah, and. Um, yeah, as far as invoicing goes, or uh, if if the person wants you to pay it now, um, they'll drop their Venmo or Cash App or whatever it is um, in the chat if that's the way they want to do it. If they want to invoice you, I really want it to be the responsibility of the seller and the buyer to get in touch with each other, either by dropping an email in the chat in marathons past, T, T and I both have spent a lot of time passing on uh, people's email addresses because the presenter didn't get the buyer's information. So we want to try to avoid as much as that as we can. You guys know we go live every single day. Go ahead. T. That being said, though, as a guest on the marathon, you give us permission to share your information. So if you purchase something and you neglect to send the email or your address or something, and the seller reaches out to us, we are sharing your information. So if you're not good with that, then don't buy from other people. Maybe yes. you only want Donna and I to have your information. But if someone does, um, you know, if somebody does happen to reach out, just remember, because you bought from them, we are going to share your information. We prefer you to share it, <laughs> to Donna's point. We have enough on our plate. <laughs> yeah. So the presenter will provide you with an email address, and it's really up to the buyer to contact the presenter to get a method of payment, an invoice, whatever needs to be done. Okay. So if you're going to be selling, please have your email ready to drop in the chat. Um, and maybe with the help of the uh, moderator, we can post it every time something sells. We're not going to be keeping track of what you sold. It's going to be up to you to go back and rewatch the video. Um, if you need to, to find out who bought what you're only selling three items. So it shouldn't be, it's not like you're selling 20, 25 mm -hmm. items every time you go live. Like, and like I also did have a question from somebody about coming on more than once. And I and Donna have no problem with that, with the respect of if you want to come on once on my channel and once on Donna's once on <laughs> Saturday, or once on Sunday, as long as there are not other people waiting that haven't shown before. So even, even let's just say, I don't know, I'm going to pick on Jill, Rachel, and Pat, right? Let's say the three of them come in, they each show, and then we move to Donna's channel, and Erica all of a sudden is there, and so is Jill. So Erica is going to get the chance first, and then as long as somebody who hasn't shown Jill is welcome to show again, Rachel, whoever, just keep that in mind, guys. And I'm just going to ask you guys to don't wait like, oh, I, I want... I want to have that nine o'clock spot on Saturday night with T. Take your advantage as early as you can take it because you just never know how many people are going to jump in. So take your advantage as soon as possible. And um, where did I just saw Jill? Hi to Elsie. <laughs> Hi to Erica. <coughs> so each person will get 15 minutes to sell you guys. That means you basically have five minutes per item. So I strongly suggest that you bring multiples of an item and put it up for auction and then offer it so you can sell to 15 people, 10 people, five people if you do that. Um, just to make it fair, we're giving people 15 minute slots. So you'll be able, if you can show an item and we can close it quick, I'm all about closing it quick. So if, we, if you can show an item and close it quick and close it within two minutes of showing it, showing it, calling it, closing it, then you can show two items in five minutes. Bless your heart. Yes, Lisa. Yes. First come first serve, whatever time it is. So I yeah, it's hard to do because I take forever to show stuff. Hey, Steve. Hey, Steve. All right. What did Lisa say? 
first come first serve in the morning or when you are ready to come on example i'll be ready at two which is tease time can the items be small lots yes you just got to show them sure. quick yeah oh that mosquito fit me yeah. you know what was going to happen <laughs> and you know the two and three and four and five dollar items is not the way to go you know, because you got free shipping for one. So you're going to lose money on it. So if you got a lot of little things like that, lot them up and get them all together. Sell them all at one time. Yeah. You know, try to hit that $30, you know, at least. Hey, Glenn, um, we're talking about the Christmas in July this weekend, hon. Yeah. And I yeah, do. Anybody's welcome to come on. So if you guys are just, you know, hearing about it now, if you guys want to come on, just have lots ready or items ready or whatever and just pop in we're going to drop the link um you know numerous times during the live just so you guys have it the links will be different for everybody's channel for those of you not familiar with Streamyard. so donna's link from nine to one will be different than my link you know from five to nine or brian's link from one to five so keep that in mind <coughs> Heather, we're going to be on all weekend honey why i don't understand are you like busy this weekend we're going to be on all weekend so selling. Oh, we haven't seen Sergeant for a while. Hey, Sergeant Spork. I, Sergeant Spork, I watched your short, <laughs> your clock short, your tick tock. Um, maybe she means now. Heather might mean now. Oh, okay. Awesome, D's. You go, girl. Good, D. Good. We're going to drop the links in the chat, Rachel. As soon as we go live, we're going to drop the links in the chat and whoever can click on them first and whoever's first in the, in the, in the room. Um, you know, you don't have to sit there the whole first hour that I'm showing or T showing or Brian's showing, but at least to be ready when the second hour comes in. All right, Pat. See you later. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. You should type up the schedule, what it is, how it works, etc., and have in all three of you or more info areas on your channel if you haven't already. T, that's you. Yes. You're right. Yeah, usually, this um, T's, T's really cheating this auction because I used to give everybody a time slot and I used to copy everybody's stream yard and email everybody who was part of the thing. And yeah, there was just not enough time with everything. We decided early on that we yeah. weren't going to do that this time yeah. because it's yeah. just too much work from years past. Look how much time we spent on it. We decided yeah. early on that we were just going to just let it be a free for all. Well, don't make it sound like that. That sounds like it's not it's gonna be out of control. <laughs> it's a free for all, Carl. Oh my god. Carl. You, know, you know T's getting nervous now. You're saying that. We still Carl. have rules. There's Carl. gotta be rules. Guys, we're gonna stick to the same rules as always. Yes, yes. Everybody yes, does Jill. free shipping. Yes, please. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, Jill. Yes. Free shipping. So price your lots accordingly. Exactly. Yes, it's too much. You guys, work. don't show up with a ten dollar item. Don't show up with something that you know. You got to show up. We want we want like superstar items. We want like nice big lots that you can like make some serious money. You're all resellers. You all got a bunch of crap at home. Put it together in a big lot. Show it. If it's going to cost you thirty dollars to ship out, you're moving inventory. That's that's key here. You're moving inventory. You're getting some money in. You can reinvest it in some other inventory. What what may be something that you bought a year ago, maybe that doesn't interest you anymore. Maybe you've changed your idea of what you want to sell on YouTube might be somebody's expertise that's watching the channel. So they may be really happy to have something that Shriker. you have been sitting on. Is it, is it me, Shriker? what you're What's you're that? muted it's, it's been muted? happening for a couple of weeks it'll straighten okay. out okay let me go turn off the tv okay hey greg awesome frank yes denise anyone's allowed to sell absolutely but you have to come in with your camera on ready yes. to go 
So I woke up at 5.30 this morning and I went on Lava Lamp Live and the last message was Greg saying, Donna, are you going live tonight? And I tried to respond and it started going round and round and round and round. And then my phone came up and said, um, would you want to connect to your cellular Wi-Fi? I lost the internet gone in the house, no internet. So then about, I don't know, 9 30, 10 o'clock this morning, I went to sit down to do my invoicing. No internet again. I had and no I was, internet when I came to the store today. I had to call. Oh, uh, and I was like, yes, I can't work. I have no internet. <laughs> and then it came back on. Darn it. It came back on. So I did ship out a bunch of stuff. Hey, Holly. Holly just got off of work. Well, if you're driving home, be careful. Hey, Moni. On Facebook Live. Oh, is it clear? Awesome. Mr. Bizalot's mic was acting up today. He doesn't use a mic. He uses his phone, as far as I know. Well, he used to have a hands-free mic. I think, I think he still oh, uses it. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, because he walks to other rooms and everywhere else, and you still hear him. So. Okay, Carl. That would be a good one. Denise, do you want to come on and sell? Oh, Denise, I would love for you to come on and sell. If you can't get a spot on mine, you're comfortable enough to go on Tease or Mr. Buys a Lot. So I'm going to be on 9 o'clock Saturday morning and 9 o'clock Saturday night. And I'll be on until 1. Um, if I have to take it later than that, I'll make myself a cup of coffee. Because it's still early. 1 o'clock in the morning is still early on the West Coast. Then it is Friday night. Mm -hmm. No, it's Saturday night. Oh, Saturday night. That's what I meant. Yeah, it's it's Saturday night. So it's, yeah. uh, I mean, if yeah, I get well, you'll be, sleep, you'll be sleeping when I'm on from five to nine. You'll be taking mm -hmm. your siesta. So it's all good. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm going to. You know me. <laughs> Are you kidding me? As a matter of fact, I just woke up. I just, I just woke and up. And now you're drinking coffee. This is yeah. going to be a long stream. <laughs> <laughs> just before we went live. The marathon is starting early. <laughs> I, li I literally just went into the bathroom, brushed my hair, put on some lipstick, and here I am with my coffee. <laughs> Making my own sunshine. Hi, Boatman, Boatman. Hi, Jade Moon and William Albright. Nice to see you guys. Hey, Boatman. Hello, hello. Thank you. T is randomly flickering on my screen. No, T is randomly flickering on everybody's screen. That's oh. this camera, unfortunately. I'm sorry. Oh, did you get that storm that I got today? Holy cow. Huge storm. Yeah, well, he's saying that might have played a part. William! Hello, hello, William. Welcome in, honey. Oh, of course you are, Carl. Of course you are, honey. <laughs> no surprise there, darling. No <laughs> surprise there. There's Greg. Hello to the dream team. Greg, you're so sweet. All right, you guys. All right, T, you want me to start or you want to start? You can You can go, honey. Yeah. I have 100 plus ties. Wonder it wouldn't do in a lot. I sold a bunch of ties the other day. Why not? Glenn, Glenn bring them. There's um, so I bought. I sold a bunch of ties too, and I think I think who bought whoever bought them was uh gonna was buying them for, uh, crafts. Jill says you need a new camera, T. No, you know what? This is the laptop camera. This is the new laptop. I'm having such a I don't even want to get into it right now. I have my external camera is actually on my other laptop. Hey, Texas Val. And I'm going to show with that camera. So I'm not really going to be on the screen anyway. Hey, hey Craig. Craig. Hope you're feeling well, honey. Yeah, James says he likes to sell ties. Yeah. Um, well, Christine Caravulis bought a bunch of ties for me on auction the other night. People buy ties all the time. My husband just doesn't like to list ties. That's why I sell them because... He just doesn't like to, he, he gets frustrated with them. <laughs> hey, Karen's at the beach. Hello, Susan Arrington. Welcome in, darling. Carl. <laughs> What's Carl saying now? Can we auction off a night with ourselves, i.e. dinner and a movie with me? <laughs> Carl, 
Carl, you are a married man. What are you he talking is. He's about? Happily married. He's happily married. And I so Ricky's coming to uh St. Petersburg, you guys. You're gonna you're gonna meet Ricky. He's gonna come drive over with us. Um, I think Massimo and Lola are going to come just for one night. I have to get a babysitter for Boston. They can't come for more than that um, because of Boston. So um, they might come over just for one night, and I'll have Boston go stay, um, do a sleepover at my friend Trisha's house. Um, yeah, so we'll be there Thursday, Friday, and leave Saturday. Um, so I'm really excited because, um, you know, Ricky, he's like your husband. He's never on camera. Right. Well, I, I may bribe him because he's going to come and stay with me here on Sunday when we finish up and close it out on Mr. Beisalat's channel because it's going to be one o'clock in the morning and I don't want to be here by myself at one o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Either that or I'm going to tell him, well, then you got to let me take like three or four lots home and sell from the house. He won't. So <laughs> you should just make an exception. Let me just answer Denise. Um, Denise, I'm going to be in St. Petersburg on the 12th, 13th, and leaving on the 14th. Actually, I'm going to be arriving on the, my daughter wants to come a day early, which I don't blame her. She's, Angelina is the type of girl that she like wants to be in class first and wants to be all settled in. And like everybody, you know, she doesn't like to be last minute with anything. So she has to report. She does not take after you at all. <laughs> I'm like running in class last minute, disrupting the teacher, disrupting the class. Oh, oh. <laughs> and disrupting her internet. Whoopsie. <laughs> Whoopsie. I wonder if it's the bad storm she's having. Uh, is it still there? I thought it already moved out. Oh, I don't know. Hmm. It's just her provider is so bad. My internet just completely went mm -hmm. off. It went off. I looked at it and then it came right back up. I don't know what's going on with it. I'm going to have to call them. Is the storm still passing through? No, it's beautiful outside. It's beautiful. <clears throat> Ted and Donna is late. Never. No. So I, yeah. So I told her that we would go. She has to be at school at Thursday. So I told her that we would go on Wednesday. So Denise, we're going to be there Wednesday. The. 11th she reports to school on the 12th and that friday night the 13th we're having a meetup um at downtown st petersburg oh my gosh denise you can come come over to st petersburg you're gonna be in town oh my god i would love to see you denise the last time i saw denise her and her husband were taking a cruise out of the port port of palm beaches and she stopped by and she brought me this most beautiful bottle of perfume. Denise, that was like so nice of you and so generous of you. That was so sweet. Um, Angel, Angel perfume, which I love. I love Angel, that scent. So that was years ago, Denise, right? I haven't seen you in years and years and years. So wait, am I invited? Rachel, everybody's invited. Everybody's invited. I would love to see you, Rachel. I wish I could come, but that's a bad weekend for me. I'll be in New York for my aunt's thing. No, Erica, I am, she's not going to vaccinate. I'm going to pay the $1,500. She doesn't want to vaccinate. She cried about it. She just doesn't want to do it. She's she really wants to have a family and she doesn't know what the repercussions of the vaccinations are. And she just doesn't want to vaccinate. So I have to pay the I have to pay the $1,500, $750 a semester. So I just have to work a little bit harder and, you know, and just do it. Hey, Jules, welcome in. Um, Donatella, I will not be able to make the meetup. It's my wife's birthday, the 13th, and we're planning a 12th to the 14th long weekend getaway. Oh, Carl. Boo. Oh, well. Well, enjoy your weekend with your beautiful wife. Oh, Mary's birthday. Yeah, Friday is the 13th this year. That's a lucky day. That's yeah. a lucky day, Mary Ness. Yes, James, um, because she's not, she's opted out of having a COVID shot. They are going to be testing her every two weeks. And the money is to pay for the testing every two weeks. 
Okay, Sergeant Spork. Thanks for popping in, honey. Good to see you. Well, we'll be streaming live at the meetup. I'll bring the laptop and we'll be streaming live so everybody can come over and, um, hey, and Jules. You know, everybody can watch and everybody can come over and say hi to everyone. Donna, my college age nieces have refused also. Have they, Karen? Yeah. Yes, the fees for the testing. I know, Carl. It is it is such a ripoff, and I'm really upset about it. But, I mean, I just got to, you know, she's 18 years old, and she's made up her mind, and i just not going to force her for the sake of money. Like, can you imagine the guilt, like, later on if, you know, God forbid? I mean, she's got a lot of points. She's like, it's not FDA approved, da 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 da, da. No, no, there's no no auction, Denise. Just just people meeting each other, saying hello, having a, a an appetizer, cocktail, snack, whatever. That's all. Just to some people that I've never met. We just you know know each other from being online. So no auction. No, Craig, I need to invoice you for that. I have not sent them. They're here though. I have to repack the glass because. Lola packed it, and although some of you know Lola is a great packer, the box is a little bit, the, the cardboard is a little bit too soft for my liking. I need to um, I need to find a, a sturdier, it's double boxed, but I need to find a sturdier box for it. Um, what time is the meetup? I'm probably going to say like around 9 o'clock at night, 8.30, maybe 7.00. I don't know. <laughs> to be determined. It's no, Donna, guys. It's me, you guys. We'll know better. We'll know we'll we'll know better closer to it. Oh, really, Susan? All right, let's not talk about it. <laughs> She's saying good grief, Carl, how stupid because of the oh no, Carl didn't ask what time. <laughs> My 18 year old granddaughter got hers. Oh, that will be fun too. Looking forward to meeting with your YouTube friends and especially seeing you, Ricky, and the kiddos. Yeah, it will be great, Denise. It'll be awesome. Public schools are different. Okay. All right, you guys. So let's start. I'll go on first. Um, I'll show you what I got and then uh, we'll put tea on. All right, here we go. Are we going to do the rules? Oh. Yes, let's do the rules. My my camera fell out, so when the when I lost the stream, so I need to I need to reset it. I'm gonna put you guys back on. T, will you read the rules while I do this? Absolutely. All right, guys. First thing, always make sure you're on live chat, not top chat. If anybody here is new and hasn't registered yet, we don't charge you to register, but you do need to fill out a registration. We will drop that registration periodically in the chat. Oh, Amy, $25 super chat. Wow. Amy, good for her not getting the vaccine. Here's a little something to help with the cost. Oh, my gosh, Amy. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. Oh, my gosh. I'll show that to my daughter. She, she will just, she'll love that. Thank you, Amy, for supporting her and her decision. Appreciate it. Um, yes, so if you're new here. We will get your registration. You will be registered on both mine and Donna's channel. So no need to, to re-register twice. Um, you will get wrenched, which just means you're eligible to bid. I always like to talk about that too, guys. Just because everyone has a wrench, please let Schreiker handle the modding. If we need help, we will certainly ask. Um, I will try to jump in always if we, there's something going on in the chat. But guys, please, 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 we beg you. Um, and be respectful of one another. And if we do have somebody new who comes in that doesn't have a wrench, let's give them an inch or a little, little leeway. Regardless of what they say, we'll handle the, you know, if God forbid it's a troll or something. Appreciate that. Um, <clears throat> we do bid in increments of $2 until we get to 50 once we get to 50, it's $5 increments. And once we get to 100, it's $10 increments. If you are a bidder and you no longer wish to make a bid, please type out. That way we can close the Excuse bid. me. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I was thinking of you, Camille, today. I know you're in New York City. I didn't see you come in, honey. You have a great day. Hi, Camille, honey. Yeah, she's up in, she's up in New York. Oh, yeah. sure, when I'm not there. Hi, Elizabeth. <laughs> Elizabeth. Thanks for coming in. 
Okay, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes, Elizabeth, corporate tea in the house. <laughs> Hi, Sabrina Jackson. Nice to see you. Hi, Sabrina. Um, you can always come back in if we haven't called it, but once Shriker types sold in the chat, we are sold. We base it on what we see in our chat. Sometimes you guys will see a bid or a, or something come up first in your chat, but because you are um, on your own devices, that always will happen if it's a you know multiple bid at the same time. Please, we ask everyone not to put any comps in the chat. It's really important. It it can either sway the bidders or it can it can sway you know help or not help the seller. So we appreciate that. And sometimes they're not right. So. Um, just best not to type any numbers in the chat unless it's a bid. And $30 free shipping when you buy from me or $30 free shipping when you buy to Donna. I will combine shipping on multiple lots if you don't hit $30 on one of them. I will hold items up to about a week, although I've been doing a little longer only because I haven't <clears throat> excuse me, been showing as much. But please try to keep it, you know, we're on a lot, so, especially with the um, big auction coming up this week. And I'm sure you guys will be able to buy something else to combine shipping. Um, when I forget, Shriker. Mm, did you say your bid is a contract? Don't oh, bid if you're not paying. Yes, guys, please. You know, we work so hard to put lots together to to put this together, to come on, to show things. The last thing we want to do is bring items back to auction because we have people who don't pay. When you bid at an auction, it's a contract to buy, and we expect you guys to pay. We don't require immediate payment like some, but we do ask that when we send the invoice, you pay timely. That's really important. Thank you. All right, let's sell something. Did you get your camera back in? There it is. There it is. This is what I got. Oh, did my camera fall out? Too? This is, uh, I don't know anything about it, you guys. It's, uh, it looks like a Harley. I didn't even look up close. Oh, this stupid mosquito that's in here. Um, it looks like it might be handcrafted. It says made in China right there. It's made in China. Um, it's got the leather straps on it. It looks like a Harley replica, doesn't it, Shriker? Uh, I don't know. Or is it just yeah, like it, a... It'd be a much a really old one. Or where, is do you it, wanna, where do you want to start at? Um, I'd like to start it at 30. Okay. It's all metal. It's all Look metal. The leather handlebar thingies there. Let's see the front of it. I don't know. Maybe it's just made to look like a Harley replica. Um, just a really awesome something to put on a bookcase. Um, anybody who loves Harley Davidson. Oh, what does this piece do? Did I break it? Oh, I don't know what this piece does. I'll just leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> I have no, maybe an Indian motorcycle. Oh yeah. Okay. But you can see how big it is. See my hand, how big it is. It's yeah, really the tape measure. All right. I'll get the tape measure. And Swamp wants you to uh, zoom in on the gas tank there. It's got a red star on there. Okay. So it that measures. Is bigger than it looks. Wow. 15, 15 inches. Let me move it over a little bit. It measures 15, 15 inches by that way and 10 inches tall. Doesn't look that big on screen. It doesn't? Nope. Just a star, no writing or anything. No. What's up? If there's no interest, it's fine. We'll pass on it. I don't see any interest. We'll count it down. In case of a lag. All right, five, four, three. Kyle got Elliott. a bid. Got a bid. Got a bid. Yeah, I agree with Carl. It looks more like an Indian than a Harley. 
just the way those cylinder heads are. Zuli's in. Hi, Zuli. You think it was handcrafted? Oh, no, it's a China on it. So they must have been, you know, produced. It just reminds me of like those copper, you know, like music boxes. I wonder if it's a music box. I didn't even check. Let me see. No, there's no music box. No winders on it. I'm looking. Yeah, there's something here. No. No winder on it. Not that I can see. No. Stay. That kickstand come down to hold it up? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I got two bites by that stupid mosquito. Yeah. It seems like those are the only ones that make it into the house, the females. Oh, my gosh. Why, it's only the females that bite? Yeah. Hmm. All right, let's count it down to Zuli. All right. Going once, going twice. All right, Zule. When the mosquitoes are buzzing, that means they're females. Males don't make a noise and females bites only. Really? Those bad girls sold 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 to zuli thank you zuli all right here's my next item oh where'd you find that i have i have a couple i have a couple of things i have some stuff <laughs> you did have amazing spider-man last week so or earlier this week fantastic four to eleven I got some stuff. Where do you want to start at? Who do you think I should start at? Oh, 30 will be fine. All it's right. not going to matter. It's going to go away, so. All right. There you have it, guys. Stay tuned, because I may have a couple of other little tricks up my sleeve. Uh-oh. Carl! <laughs> that is a CGC 8.5. What's it say over there on the left side? White. First appearance of Terran? Terax. First appearance of Terax. Galactus appearance. And the other side says story by. Okay. And you want to turn it over and look at the back of the label as well. 10 of 79. Yeah, Kyle, we're talking about you. And there's no cracks or dents or broken corners on the case or anything. Clean as a whistle. Yep, looks nice. No scratches. Clean as a whistle. Very nice. Thank you. He's 42 years old, still in near mint condition. So if it was mint, would it be 9.5? No, mint starts at 9, I believe. Maybe oh, maybe so 8.5. There's, there's a lot of different uh, mints. <laughs> 10 is the highest, of course. So 8.5 is up there pretty good. 
It's respectable. Saxon's at 55. Let's see if I can get this. What is 9, James? I can't remember what 9.0 is. Oh, it's yeah, 10 is absolute perfection, but 9 is pretty nice. So, guys, use this as an example. If you're going to bring a single item to the auction, bring something like this. So it will be worthwhile shipping, and, you know, it's unique. It's, it's rare. You know, it's something that you don't see all the time. I mean, just, you know, keep, like, something like this in mind. Or even like the motorcycle, but but your best bet to move quantity of is to bring quantity of stuff. Honestly, that's your that's your best move. Show one item and then sell extras that you have. Yes, like exactly. Bring one item up for auction. Just say hypothetically, it's a uh, say it's this comic. <laughs> Wouldn't it be neat though? Say you have, you bring this comic, you let them bid on it and you know, the bid goes to $70 and then you turn around and you say, okay, I have 12 of these first 12 people to say me in the chat gets one of these. Exactly. That's how you make your most money. 9.0, 9 9.2 can have some off white pages, but um, Marilyn. Why is she writing me? Because she wants one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so this one said it had white pages, right? I don't think it said either way. Yeah, it did. Look. Did it? Okay, good. That's perfect then. Perfect. That's as good as you get there. It says white pages on I, it. I, thought, I was looking for it on the front and didn't see it. Yep, it says white pages. There's Carl. I was wondering where he went. I thought maybe he went to go uh, check his bathroom faucets. <laughs> 8.5 means cover may have some minor wear. Sorry about the, the glare. Yeah, I don't know. That one's looking pretty sharp. Corners look really sharp, don't they? Uh, that one's no, that one's pretty good too. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's a nice one. Thanks, James. I think it's a nice piece too. It's it's so special, like to hang on a wall. Are you kidding? How would you hang that? Oh, you wouldn't attach anything to that. No, you have to put it on a shelf or in a frame or something. Right. Or maybe um, that, like, double-sided, like, uh, the command tapes or something that doesn't stick. They make special displays for them, yeah. Oh, they do? Oh, probably even just, like, oh, I know, like, this here. Here you go. Yeah, display it on a table. Yep. Look at that. So that will be included with it. My gift to whoever wins it. It's just a just a nice acrylic stand. You can see how pretty it looks. Doesn't that look sharp? Whoops. There goes the phone. <laughs> Whoops, let's see, this way. Yeah, here you go. That looks sharp, doesn't it? All right, let me put this back on. Well, the clear one does look better than a brown one would for sure. Yeah, that looks nice. Did you uh, get your new Amazon account set up? No, not yet. No, Holly, not yet, honey. I haven't had time. 
I have not had time. Carl has an important question. Okay, what's his question? Are you going to have any more graded ones? One more tonight. We'll get them over with. I might have some really awesome comics later on in the show, though. But I am going to show one more graded one after this one, which is uh, pretty amazing, I have to say. And then, uh, um, yeah. Then I'll show some, some comics in a little while, too. I have lots of other great things I want to show. I don't want to bore the people that don't like, you know, just comics. Paul is out to Greg. Greg Lusk is at 199 for the Fantastic Four. As someone asked earlier, if uh, this is the way to sell comics, to so say if you can get graded comics, this is the easiest way to sell them, yes. Then there's no bickering about what the grade is or anything. And CGC is the go to company. Look at look at my nine point eight, Donna. That's kind of a personal thing to be putting in the chat, Steve. <laughs> what is your nine point eight? Right here, he sent me a picture. Whoa, Steve. Holy crap. All right, can I share this picture with everybody? Look at this, you guys. Look at Steve's room. Yep. Whoa. He hasn't displayed. <laughs> Saxton. All right. You have a nice 9.8. Hey, Wonder Woman. Welcome in. Steve, I'm really impressed with your 9.8. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did he send you a photo of just one of them That's to see the 9.8? All right. So Greg won this for 199 Yes. Congratulations. Okay, and for my third lot, and you guys stay tuned because I'm going to have some other stuff, but I am going to show this one. I'm going to go put these someplace safe because I don't want to drop them. All right, ready? Uh, number 55. Sorry about the glare. So this one is Amazing Spider-Man number 55. Marvel Comics 221. It looks like a is that like a Marvel comic cartoon that's like ripping the 8.5 apart? Yeah, it's something they just started doing. You see, this is this just came out a few months ago. February of 21. I can prevent that glare. Patrick Gleason, wasn't he just here? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> he was just here, Patrick Gleason. <sighs> okay. All right, let him look it up. There you have it. There he is. <laughs> Patrick. <laughs> Patrick, you're on this cover. Look. Right there. Was he the artist? Huh? Was he the artist? Does it say back there? It does. It says Patrick Gleason is the artist. Look. Cover and art. Good job. Patrick, I didn't know you were so talented. <laughs> that's a All good right. Saxton's at 30 that's a good looking book right there the artwork on it is awesome so no dented corners no scratches to the case or anything no cracks no 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 perfect mint condition perfect mint condition 
Yes, you are famous, Patrick. See, and a minute ago, you wanted to move to Canada. You need to stay in the United States where you're, you know, popular and everybody's like, ooh, Patrick. They wouldn't be saying that in, uh, in Canada about you. They'd have no idea. All right. Raiders is out. Oops. And it fell out. I don't know why it fell out. I'll just hold it up. I'll put it back on after. I'll, I'll try to hook up my other phone. I got my other phone back. All right. We have Marilyn at 55. Anybody else want in? Ooh, Marilyn. Looks like Marilyn might scoop this one up. Going twice. Looks like Marilyn's going to get her. Get him. No, Steve wants the part still. Steve, you don't have this one on your wall? <laughs> you did, Marilyn. Congratulations. Awesome. Uh, she's so Nope, he doesn't have this one. All right, Greg, you went in. Marilyn beat you by just a hair there. Andrea! I listed one of those Ralph Lauren sweaters I got from you on eBay today, and it sold in less than an hour full price. Mwah! Thank you. I have so many of those sweaters, but I have I have orders to fill because I sold Dibble Lots last weekend, um, <clears throat> $75 Dibble Lots with clothing in them, so I can't show any until I fill all my orders. Was it one of those cabled ones? What's the name of they call those? Um, I don't, I don't remember what, what she got in her bundle, but you're, you're referring to the cable knit. Very classic. <laughs> right, Marilyn. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Greg is out. Marilyn's going to get it for 65. Wow. You know what? Shows you how much I know. Like I would have thought that this one would have gone for a lot more than the Fantastic Four. Oh, no, because, no, 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 no. Really? Because that, of all of the spider that, that one just came out this year. That's a brand oh, new one. Oh, and that's an old one. Yeah, that other one's 42 years old. See, I go by, I just go by like what's on the picture. <laughs> 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 to me, this is awesome. And let's not forget, Patrick Gleason drew this. So huh. that makes it extra special. Whoever wins this, do you want me to ship this? To Patrick and have them sign it before hey. I ship it to you. I don't think that would be a good idea. <laughs> Too black and new, but it matters. <laughs> Donna knows comics. Yes, I do. Don't I, Saxton? I do, I do, I do. Okay, Marilyn's going to get this one. Thank you, Marilyn. Nope, that's it, Carl. That's it, sweetheart. That's it for tonight. Okay, so I'm putting tea on. Thank you so much, everyone, for um, for bidding on these. T, you want me to put you or you're um, muted? You're muted. My camera, my other camera, please. Got it. All right. Ooh. It's shot glass time. What kind of game do we have going on here? Let's play a game, folks. All right. I'm gonna get the that. ping pong ball out. <laughs> All right. Let's see if I can. Uh... Not that I play, but I have teenagers, so I know what's going on. 
Now, I'm sure they don't drink. No. Uh, Not them. The Bahamas? Where do you want to start at? T30? Yeah. Louisville, Kentucky. The Rangers. The Claridge Casino and Hotel. The University of Virginia. New Jersey. This is just a little beer. A little beer stein. Foxwoods. One down, down one. Not sure. This is the only one that's not glass, otherwise they're all glass. Bahamas. Puerto Rico. Anchor Hawking. MGM Grand Las Vegas. Bahamas, the Frosted Glass, Dave and Buster's, Mystic Seaport, Syracuse University, The Mirage. Did you see one that said Anchor Hawking on it? Yeah. Yeah, there is. Puerto Rico. Yeah, I never saw one with anchor hockey on it, but look, yeah. Yeah. New York Rangers. Hey, Mon, smile. This one is a little worn. This one shows somewhere. Super clubs, breezes in the Bahamas. I expected them all to be sports coming from you. Oh, right? <laughs> no, it's a lot of casino ones here, actually. Yeah, I see that. Excalibur Hotel Casino, Las Vegas. Hollywood <laughs> in Atlantic City. And they're all different sizes, too. Niagara Falls. They have um, tall ones and wide ones. Dorney Park. Six Flags, the Frosted Bahamas, Dowling College, different Tropical Paradise, Puerto Rico, and Spider Man. Universal's yeah. Islands of Adventures. Marvel, that one's 2002. That one's, that one should be good. Does it hold the same amount being tall like that as, as opposed to being short? I don't know, to be honest with you. I guess we'd have to ask a bartender in the chat. I mean, this one seems like a pretty wide, short shot glass. But I don't know. Does it hold the same as that? But sometimes I think with these bottoms, because, you know, they probably are deceiving, right? Because you lose that part of the bottom. So maybe. Yeah. yeah. I've done a lot of things in my life. One of them was not to bartend. I like yeah. to drink too much. I would be in too much trouble. All right. Anybody want to get in? Christina's at 30. 30. All right, no other interest. We'll call to Christina. Hey, Christina, hon. Something I can wrap your ties in now. <laughs> did she buy some ties? She did. Uh -huh. Be good padding. And KF says they're the same. Uh -huh. as yep. Hey, KF. Nice to see you. All right, we're going to sell it to Christina. 
Bet we are. All right. 30 for Only clear the rest of these away. Let me bring the next lot up. It's going to be football. And we've got the 1991 NFL Pacific Pro Football Plus. That one is sealed. And we have this 1991 NFL Complete Set Upper Deck Premier Edition. We have this 91 High Number Series Premier Edition, Upper Deck again. And the Tops 1990 Complete Set of 528 Cards. This set, however, has been opened. I don't have reason to believe that there's a card missing, but I'm not 100% sure. I mean, it looks complete, it looks full, but Fortunately, I'm not going to go and touch them and put my hands all over them and find out yes or no. So that's a little bit of a gamble for you guys on that. And then so we have 190 set, 291 sets, and then an add-on, it looks like. Correct. Yeah, that, that small 91 is... Um, the tail end of the set, it looks like, high number. Correct, correct. Anyone have any questions? Want to take a closer look? Or are we all done? Did you say we had a question? No, I was asking the chat if they had any questions. Oh, okay. All right, we got J.I. at 30. If there's no other interest, we'll call it. All right, we have Greg at 34. Thank you, Greg. Nice factory sealed. I said the only one is this one that's not nice. Sorry about the glare because it has this plastic outside. Super high gloss. Who makes that set? Um, those, are, those are actual packs there, I would assume. Yeah, you know what? I just realized there. Yeah, 36 uh, packs. Yeah. These were actually probably the ones you could go up and buy in the store, the individual packs. And those are 91. So there's probably no gum in there then if they're 91s. Uh, I don't believe like there's gum. Oh gosh, all of a sudden it's pouring here. Hmm. Oh, 
It's so nice all day. It's like Florida sometimes I feel here. All of a sudden it's just like a quick downpour. All right, any other interest that we got to call it? Oh, let's see. How about J.I.? Are you still in? Hey, Larry. Hi, honey. Hey, Amy. Hi, everyone that I missed. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. And I don't know if I told you guys, but I did before I left. <laughs> I bought. <it. laughs> um, I'm thinking about doing a maybe a one-off because I know everybody doesn't like this sports stuff. But I have a bunch of signed helmets, mini helmets, bats, mini bats, um, just a bunch of uh, bobbleheads and stuff that. I'm thinking about maybe doing like a one-off sports auction in the next coming weeks just to blow some of that stuff out of here because I know not everybody likes when I bring my sports stuff. So <laughs> I have to bring some every auction, but so you mean maybe do a whole – Like in the morning or something? and Yeah, and just, and just do a bunch of sports. Yeah. All right. Congratulations, Larry. Thank you. Oh, and Larry, I have to throw something else in with yours. I think I forgot to put the book you bought in your last lot in the in the last lot. So it'll be in this one. All right. Let's see if you guys have any interest in some electric. Sell these. T, did you mute yourself? We lost the audio somewhere. Did you mute yourself? She muted herself. Must have. T, you muted yourself. Sorry, I heard that noise. And I got scared. <laughs> this is all electronics, I assume? Yeah. Well, they're going to be a bunch of cables and wires, cables to go, velocity six foot RCA audio interconnect. Can you angle down a hair? Oh, sure. Sorry. There we go. Good. Uh, no, that's too much. My camera's going to fall. Okay, there we go. <laughs> RCA high performance digital cable, Centronic HD TV cables. Most of them were all new in pack. Well, it makes, that makes them sellable anyway. Yeah. Still in their packaging. It's the loose ones that get hard to sell. I'll show them if you can't see them. I'm sorry. Now, this, this is a reel of wire. And it, it says that it is 8GA car audio power cable. 0.3 mm. I don't know if you, can, you guys can see what it says on the wire. Is that focusing in, tracker? I can't tell. Again, I don't know what the calling is for I'm that. sorry, to you. what was the question? <laughs> I was seeing if, if that was actually, um, can you read the wire? Uh, car audio power cable, 8GA, okay. speaker wire. Yeah. 
This is a triple socket USB, so that when you have three people in the car, you or actually it looks like it's three, but is it USB? Oh, and triple socket. Got it. So everybody can connect when they're in the car. Marilyn, are you looking for like a Epson double-sided scanner, that kind of thing? I assume you are since you probably have postcards and things to scan in. Yeah. Exactly, a duplex scanner. Yeah. I bought a used one off of eBay that started out pretty good, but it's acting up now, so I may have to buy a new one. What is that? A uh, duplex scanner for doing. Is my camera scanner. blurry? What's that? Is my camera blurry? Yeah, it just started though. Oh. Okay. I think it's just not focused. Okay. I also found this. This is yeah, yeah, that's good there. So you're good. This is called Alessius Multi Mix Four Four Channel USB Mixer. But this one's not new in package. But it looks fairly nice condition. Again, I don't test these things, so I'm not. I'm going to guarantee anything on this, but it looks like a nice piece. Yeah, some of those mixers can be expensive. You have to look it up and see. Multi mix four. Okay. All right, we have cat at 30. Anybody else want in? Anyone else? Yeah, the camera goes in and out. Now I see it's clear. Yeah, yeah, it's just back and forth. All right, so you got this silver stone designing inspiration, black nickel coated finish, adorable appearance. This is something for a hard drive, it looks like. But yeah, if you wanted to add a hard drive to your desktop. Uh, Maryland, probably Amazon. I don't know about any local stores. I, I haven't, haven't ever looked in Best Buy or anything like that, but I doubt if they would have something like that. So it's probably, you'd probably have to be online. What is Maryland asking for? Uh, a duplex scanner for doing postcards and such. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. Um... Like I said, I bought mine used off of eBay for a good price. So, listen, I'm still using a traditional printer these days. I can't even get over to the to the other one, um, and I have the paper for it, the thermal paper. I just, to just you can't seem to switch over. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you you're not you don't have a laser, huh? No, oh, it's uh, it's a, like a multi. I both my printers are like HP Office Jets, you know, ScanFax printer. Yeah. Spent a hundred and something dollars on cartridges the other day. I should just shoot myself. If you don't need color, you definitely want to go to to toner. You know, it's so cheap. I know. No, I have no reason, honestly, to, to, to need color for anything. I don't do photos or anything on my machine. And if I did, I'd keep one of these as a backup. Right, right.
And I think printing out photos is going to be a thing of the past if it's not already. Yeah, I haven't had a, a color for 10 years or more, so. Oh, well. I'm not supposed to show you how <laughs> behind the times I am. All right. We're going to sell it. We're going to sell it. That's so. All right. Cat D. $40. Thank you, Cat. All right, Missy, that's my three. Okay, you guys, this is what I have next. This one's whispering. Are those all full of cards? What's that? Are they all full of cards? Yep. Um, where do I start? Where Johnny, do I start? you have my camera on, I think. I was going to say, uh, what's going on there? <laughs> I have her camera on? Well, yeah, you're showing baseball cards. Isn't that too uh, <laughs> All right, so I'm not going to go through each and every individual box, but just to give you an idea, like, for example, that one has, um, I guess there's a combination of, yeah, some basketball snuck in there. Where do you want to start the lot at? Started at thirty. All right. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't believe what is in in the boxes. Oh, look at this—a Power Ranger. Oh, whoa! Yeah. Might be some hidden surprises in those. Oops. Don't tap those cards like that. <laughs> yeah, don't don't hit the edges. <laughs> Looks like a big mix of years. Yeah. All right, so this box. And that's a metal tin, right? Yep. This one says metallic expressions. There's the babe. These are metal. These are metal cards. A little different. Have you ever seen metal? Yes. But they're not too common anymore. A little collector set. All right, that's what's in this one. Looks like a big mix in that one too. I think they probably just used the... Um... No, they're not coasters, Marilyn. <laughs> Looks like they just used the uh, containers. Right. Oh my gosh, there's a picture of someone in here. I see a Jurassic Park there too. Nineteen ninety one. So they're all just just a mishmash, you guys. Very random. You never know. It's like buying a lottery ticket. This one says poly sleeves, but there's not poly sleeves in here. Nope. More cards.
That's exactly right, James. There's no telling what you're going to find. So that's that. And then all these boxes are full, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't probably think, you know, I'm not going to show each one, but this is, this is full and they're all in great condition. It says 1999 opening day, but are these? No, like, those are probably 2001s are all. There's 99, yeah. Very random. I'll open one of those other boxes. Let's see how many's in there. They're all full. One of the big ones. Four stacks, so there's a good amount in there. Turn, turn one of those over. Is it numbered on the back? Sometimes the gold ones are numbered. Have a serial number on them down there somewhere. I don't see it. They feel brand new. From 1999, yeah. A little bit of a treasure hunt. Well, you've got a few thousand to look through. It's like a mystery box. Yep. Oh, there's the sleeves. There's your penny sleeves. There's some more sleeves. All right, anybody want to take a chance? Buy a little lotto? Believable Blessing's going to take a chance on him. Alfredo's in for 32. What do you mean you alphabetize cards, Marilyn? Did you sort them into team stacks? Is that what you did? Hi, Fancy. Hey, Fancy. Fancy, Nancy, Hi. what's going on? Pedro Martinez. That's it, folks. It's just like buying a mystery lot. So how many of those bigger boxes do you have there? Um, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven and then the tens. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Hi, Alfredo. So it's twelve boxes total between the tens and the Junebug! Hey, Junebug. 
All right. How about believable blessings for Jill? You want to come back in? Did someone say June bug? What? <laughs> Hi, June. Where's those metal ones? I thought those were really cool. Yeah, these are pretty. Thanks, you guys. I'm going to go try to get my other, for some reason, this silencer is a silencer. Let's see if that works. Nope, it's still whispering. <sighs> Back to this again. All right, we, we need $5 increments now, believable blessings. So we need 55 to continue. I hope your affiliate links was working properly. Nope. Not at all, huh? Okay. Nope, Amazon closed that account. No, that's too bad. Sorry, Junebug. Yeah, my my affiliate link is um, Amazon closed my account. Sorry that your um, daughter broke her glass stove top. That's a bummer. Oh, June, sorry, honey. It stinks. Is the Babe Ruth 10 marked Avon? Um, hold on, I'm trying to log in with my other phone for some reason. Is it marked what? Avon. I wouldn't think so. Avon? Yeah. Avon they must, did. They must have made some cards or something. Nope. First time. Metallic impression. Hallmark. Oh, no. Hallmarks. Metal <laughs> yeah. Uh, so not Avon. No. Thousand dollars for a new stovetop, yeah. Oh my gosh, Jim Bug. Too bad my affiliate link wasn't working. Yeah, that would have gave you a few dollars. Like three dollars. Yeah. All right, we're at $60 with Believable Blessings. And Marilyn, do you want to come back in?
Thank you. Jim, it sounds like they were replacing the microwave above it and it probably fell on it. Oh, we have a request for Barbies. Sorry, I'm not. Um, I'm trying to uh, get this other phone logged in. It's asking me for all kinds of security. Oh, she stood on the stove. That's even worse. What'd she do? She stood on the stove while they were replacing their microwave. Oh, no. That's terrible. All right, we're sold the believable blessings for 60. $60? Yep, $60, right. lot four. All right, let me clear it away. See, my phone dropped out again. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta get this one um, hooked up, and it's giving me a problem with my password. So, T, are you ready? T, are you ready? I have something on the table. You could put my camera on if you need a minute. Yeah, I need to get this other phone. This other, this phone keeps falling out. So I got to figure out why it, why it keeps doing that. Thank you, believable blessings. Okay. Oh, are these all Disney? It looks like Disney. Disney. Walt Disney's The Beach Party, 1932. That's not the year. <laughs> what year? Does it say a year? No. No, it just says authentic original Disney parks. Disney made in Thailand. There's a cup and saucer, the Walt Disney Gallery, made in Japan. I didn't know Japan was still making things. Well, this could be vintage. I have no idea. Yeah. Well, it's got the sticker. Look at that sticker again. Let's see. On that plate, yeah. Yeah, yeah barcode. So it can't be too, too old, but... It looks, looks it looks really good. It says made in Japan, yeah. It says made yep. in Japan. Yeah. Got your eight dwarves on the plate. This is the only one that's uh, mel melanine. Not melanine, so yeah. like Santa's workshop, Disney. Selendia. Santa Clara, California. Yeah, don't peel that tag off. <laughs> Don't peel what tag off? On the saucer. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to verify it's also... I like that one there, Mickey. <laughs> it, looks, it looks older with it, with it being the kind of the black and white Mickey. Yeah, and this one's made in Thailand. Oh, seven dwarves? What? Oh, I was, yeah, I, was, I, was, I did say eight, didn't I? Yeah. This needs a little cleaning. Remember, that tells you how often I watch uh, <laughs> I watch Disney. Dirt and dust is always free here at the auction, guys. You're responsible for cleaning. <laughs> Golly gee, Grandpa, you're great. Oh, goofy. I remember the dancing broom scene. Yep. I am the eighth dwarf, you bet. You see that one's Japan too. Japan, yeah. 
This one is a surprise to me. I didn't know they made anything Disney in Spain. Spain? Oh, well, yeah. I thought when I first looked at it, I thought it said Japan, but it says Spain. Huh. I don't know. Again, just need some of them just need good cleaning. <laughs> Dirty dust. That one, Japan. This one? Yeah. This one is Thailand. Thailand. Merch from Disney France comes from Spain. What was it? Merch from Disney France comes from Spain. Oh. Good to know, James. Good to know. See, that's why we have you guys here. You're so smart. We love the knowledge that you guys give us. Mary asked you a very important question. Which was? So you don't clean your items first before shipping? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Because if you wanted to clean something... You would just list it. Honestly, if it's on eBay or any of the platforms that I spend time photographing and stuff, absolutely. But the deal here is for you guys to get the best possible deal. And if I have to spend time cleaning and washing and doing all of that stuff, I might as well list them myself. <laughs> right. Prep is most of the work of listing on eBay. Yeah, the tea set looks nice. And especially now, um, with me being at the store, I don't really have other than a big uh, a big tub in the. Yeah, I'm not your dishwasher up yet. Yeah, <laughs> there's no, there's, there's, I don't even have a refrigerator here yet, and oh. I'm bringing a cooler every day with water in it. <laughs> well, you're gonna be buying some units, so you'll find a fridge soon enough. I'm sure I will. <laughs> Have you looked at the uh, local unit market? No. no. I mean, I've been on Facebook Marketplace and I've been on Nextdoor app just for myself because I need to get some pieces for the house. I got a file cabinet for the office um, last time. Um, really nice condition for ten or twenty dollars. It's it's just a nice two drawer. I need one for the house too, so I'm looking for another one and some dressers and stuff. Because remember, I didn't. Other than I have a queen bed in one bedroom and a king bed in another with no nightstands or bed head headboard or anything. Nothing came with us like that. So are you done with loads now? Um, I, we left like three big things at the house. One is our flat screen TV that was on an arm on the wall, but... My son finally took down for me. Um, one is my office chair, completely forgot about it, left it up in the bedroom. And then some outdoor stackable chairs I wanted to bring for the yard. But I'm not renting another truck. We'll try to see what we can get in the car on our next trip back. Maybe, you know, leave some stuff at my dad's and just take it as I need it because there's about eight or ten boxes still left too. I, just, I can't rent another truck. I've spent a fortune in truck rentals. It's crazy. Yep. You know, at the end of the day, it doesn't even pay to keep the merchandise. I might as well have, you know, just sold it all there. Unless it's a newer 4K TV, TVs aren't worth moving. And I agree, James. I wasn't even going to – we haven't even turned our TV on in over two years. So I don't even know why we're bringing it. I only took internet for the store in the house. I haven't even, like, taken a cable. I have Netflix and Amazon Prime and Hulu. So my son pays for one and we pay for the other. And Prime is for my Prime account. So I really don't even need a TV, to be honest with you. 
Are we sold? Yeah. Yeah. Sold, sold, sold? Thank you, Holly. Holly likes her Disney. Did you get your camera set up, Donna? I'm still working on it. Almost, almost there. Okay. All right. I'll show All something right. else. All right. Again, thank you, Holly. All right. Let's put this aside. This is a one item piece. It's a picture. It's an astronaut. It's signed. It has a single leg. Why am I echoing so bad? <laughs> You want to fix the screen? You want to fix the screen? Oh. I don't know where all of that echoes coming from. I don't know where all of that echoes from. I can still hear it. You hear it? I can still hear it. You hear it? Where you want to start at G? Where you want to start at G? I don't think she can hear us. I don't know where all that echo is coming from. from. T. I can absolutely hear you. I just muted myself because of all the echoing. I don't know where all that echo is coming from. It's very strange. Okay, it's gone. Thank God, Robin was getting upset. She's like those voices in her head. <laughs> Let's see if it does it again when I enter the studio again. Sounds like it's coming from this phone. Hey, KJ. <laughs> All right, it's still echoing. Okay, I think I got it. All right, talk to. You. All right, I'm talking. Yeah. I'm talking. Yes, indeed, I'm talking. <laughs> All right. Any interest? If not, we'll pass on the picture. And Vintage Memory says that's the one that was on the Big Bang Theory. Mike Massimino. Oh, yeah? I started at 30. Did you want to start somewhere else? No, that's fine. Okay. Hey, we, weren't, we weren't communicating very well there at the beginning. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, this particular guy was on the Big Bang Theory? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he was? I never watched it, so. Yeah. Like I said, Big I watched TV. Hi, Angela. Hey, Angela. What's up, girl? Angie! Um, Hello, Angie. I'm still waiting on you. Her name's not Angela, by the way. It's Angie. All right, Angie. Sorry, Donna. She comes oh. in as Angela. I don't know why. I've never, ever in my life called her Angela. Did she misspell her name? Is that what happened? I don't, I don't know. I don't know why she put Angela on her YouTube name. Maybe she's, maybe, maybe she's, you know, like in her name. It's not her name. 
<laughs> yeah, it's it's real, KJ. Turn it over uh, to show them the COA again. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yes, Mike Massimino, not to be confused with Massimo. Well, that's what I was trying to figure out, just looking at the front, how to spell it, and I could only think of Massimo. Right, <laughs> Massimino. I may have these days. She goes, I don't know. Well, maybe that's her birth name. It is her birth name, but she doesn't use Angela. Okay, well, maybe as she got older, she appreciated her real name and she wants to use it now. When we lived out in Jupiter Farms, she would come over to the house and the kids used to all be like, I'd be like, guys, Angie's here. And they'd be looking out the window. <laughs> and as soon as she came in, they'd all run and hide. <laughs> because she used to come in and she used to be like, you kids be good to your mother and you listen to your mother and you do what your mother says. And she would yell at them because she has four kids too. <laughs> and she'd yell at the kids and the kids every time she came over for coffee, the kids would go run and hide. Oh, God. I know. <laughs> they'd be like, she's here. <laughs> and they'd go run. And they'd be like, stop. Stop saying that. All right, we're going to sell it to KJ. <clears throat> All right, Angie, you remember? <laughs> They were so cute when they were little. All those little munchkins. All right, I got my camera set up. Go ahead, go, go, because I don't have anything set up. All right, okay, you guys, I'm going to do, um, I, this, it, this is my whispering camera, so bear with me. I can't get it to shut up. So, oh, no, KJ, <laughs> go get dressed. <laughs> it was quiet for a bit. Hey, KJ, now I can go get dressed. Why? Well, what is he talking because about? He came in and he said, Sorry, I'm late. I just got out of the shower. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he says, Thanks. Now I can go get dressed. Why? Because I'm coming on the screen, KJ. <laughs> What's he talking about? I don't know. KJ, be nice. All right, I'm gonna do a drop and stop for a hundred dollars. This is what you're gonna get. The way drop and stop works, if there's anybody watching in the background that's never been here, you guys, you wanna register in order to participate in this. A drop and stop is I'm gonna drop a bunch of stuff on the table. When you see that there's a hundred dollars worth of items, you wanna write sold in the chat and everything that's on the table is yours. Or stop. Or stop. Sold or stop. Well, it's not a drop and sold. It's a drop and stop, right? Right. Right. Stop getting so technical, you. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Is this from that same craft deal that you made? Oh, yeah. It's the never ending craft deal. Well, it's been a great deal, so no complaints. No. The, Carl wants you to read the brands on the stamps as you go along. Carl? Yes, it is, Carl. Carl, it's from it's from the same deal. You know, they're all from like 1912. Uh, 1912. What? <laughs> what? 2012, 2000. All right. If I read this, if I read the names, I'm going to be here forever. What does that say? Postmodern design. It looks like Pokemon design to me. Okay. It might be. But I'm sure it's not.
punch. <laughs> ignore me. <laughs> Carl, I could never ignore you. Did you just sneeze? Who? You. No. Elizabeth, I, there's your cat. I said it's a punch. There's another punch. That's a Martha Stewart. Say Martha Stewart. I like you to say Martha Stewart. Martha Stewart. Yeah. Let's appease Carl. What does this one say on it? No idea. I can't read it, Carl. Hold on, let me get my eyeball. Stamp Oasis Fun Rubber Stamps 2004. Stamp Oasis. Stamp Oasis. This one is Paper Bag Studios. Quite the variety. It's cake time, you guys. <laughs> it's cake time. No, Carl. We're going to do it. Do what? Read the names. He says never mind, but, you know, if that'll make him happy. Stamp and... Mania, Lost Something, New Mexico, 2003. Yeah, Maryland. Most of these were Southwest. Nobody hates you, Carl. Everybody loves you, Carl. Hi, Laura. Laura, jewelry, etc. is here. Laura, I missed your show last night. I was busy. I like coming into your show. Yeah, she always has a good show. If she would just sell more spears, it would be even better. Oh, nice. Look at that. I had to do this very fast. There's no gift, but here's some cash. Nice. <laughs> That's a nice stamp. Uh, welcome, Reds Records. Hey, Reds. Where have you been, buddy? Thank you so much for becoming a member. I think I think he watches a lot, just doesn't comment a lot. Yeah. All right. We like big rocks. Bring them on. So, Reds, I was just I just got a message from Jesse who is up in Maine, you know, he gets a, a van, he gets a big van. You guys know who Jesse is. You hear me talk about Jesse all the time. And he gets a big van. Whoops. <laughs> who was that one? Right, nose pickings. Well, no one's bidding right now. Hey, nose pickings. And um, he sent me a message. Was it yesterday? Yeah. Oh, you've been super busy? He sent me a message. I think it was yesterday. And he said, I just picked up something that you are going to absolutely flip over. So how cool is that, you guys, that he, like, he thrifts for me when he goes up to, uh, up to Maine. So I shot him up some money, and I said, keep buying, keep buying, because, you know, you guys know he always gives, not gives me, but gets me, like, the coolest stuff ever. So he said that... Um, he said he did buy a huge lot of, oh, those are neat. That's neat. I love that one. Isn't that pretty? He said he bought a huge lot of vintage maps. You've had some of those before, right? Yeah. I don't know what kind of maps. I didn't ask him. All right. We're going to stop it there. So to Carl Bach for $100. And then East Coast came in right after It's a few extra things, Carl. Sorry, guys. He's the teacher's pet. 
No, I'm joking. <laughs> uh, don't, don't put that label on him now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm only joking, you guys. You're all the teacher's pet. I'm sorry. Carl, see, you're getting me in trouble. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me jump this into here. Do you have enough stuff to give one to East Coast? East Coast, um, yeah, but I would prefer doing it live. So I'm gonna, I'll do another one. Do East another Coast. Drop of stuff. Okay. Yeah, Sharon, I'll do another one, honey. It's you know what? I stress out when I have to like do like a mystery because I always like, oh my god, are they gonna like it? Did I put enough stuff in it? So that's why I prefer to just do it live. So East Coast, just hang out, honey. I'll do another one. I got to go back into the craft closet and just grab another big box fill and, and I'll do another one. And thank you, Carl. All right, almost done, you guys, almost done. Oh. Uh, welcome in. Well, it's you're here now. Pam, hi guys. I was here earlier, but it said it didn't start till nine. Did I put nine o'clock on it? No, I don't know where it came from. Pam, honey, maybe you thought the marathon we were dropping the link for for the weekend. Could be, yeah, yeah. And that's 9 a.m. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Are, you, are you doing a whole lot of Barbies now? I'm going to do everything that's on the shelf because I got to clear these shelves behind me because I got to decorate them for Christmas. Yeah. Don't ask me the years, you guys. Just this is what you get. You get what you get. You have no regret. Little extras. What is that? A kitchen set? I don't know. Cookware. Because it will take forever to look everything up, you guys. And I got so much stuff that I want to sell. All right. June's in for 30. Lisa's looking for science, Barbie. Oh, my God. What would Lisa. she look like? Lisa, last summer, I got a tremendous load of Barbies. Do you remember that, T? Those beautiful Barbies. Some of them, they were so old that some, oh, of, them, yeah. some of them actually, like the plastic on some of them, even though I packed them well, disintegrated um, because they were so old. And that was, you know, let's see if this is all here. Is that Barbie Monopoly? I don't know what it is. Nope, some other game. My daughter found this in the back room. This is the first time I'm opening it. So it has the spinner. It has some of the Barbies intact. It has, yeah, Barbie money. Look. <laughs> What's on the other side of Barbie money? How much? Uh, it's 1991 Mattel is what it says on it. Some of the Barbie money has been torn. Here's these little stands. Here's your little Barbie things. Barbie spin the bottle. <laughs> yeah. Is that what it is? No. <laughs> <laughs> is this more than I hope there's some cans in there too then. <laughs> This is going to be a little pricey. This is definitely more than 18 inches to ship. This is going to have to go UPS. Yeah. Hi, Christine Rose. Hi, Christine. All right. So you get all that. And what is this? This just is just a Barbie nothing. This is a Barbie nothing. She put that there for some reason. I don't see any more Barbie stuff, you guys. That's it. That's all the Barbie stuff. Well, throw in that rainbow stuffed animal. How about that? Which rainbow stuffed animal? That was sitting right next to Barbie. This one? Yeah. It's a um, Build-A-Bear. Oh. 
colorful. Yeah, he's so pretty. Um, might as well throw her in too then. If I'm going to be throwing in some stuffed animals because it's going to many. It's going to have to go in a big UPS box. Yeah, because of that game. Yeah. There's Minnie. So you get Barbie, you get Minnie. Let's see. Let's make it an assorted lot then. You get another. There's another fuzzy. Wintertime Donald. Donald Duck. Um. How about this? What is it? It's a precious moment. Uh oh. No wonder. Her name is Tina. She's never been taken out of her packaging. Hmm. She has a tennis racket. All right, Tina will go in there. And. What else can I put in there? Hey, Jenny. Hey, Christine. Hi, Jenny. Okay, this is going to send it over the edge, I think. Right off the cliff. What could it be? Let me look at some of these. See if they have Barbie tags on them or not. This one doesn't. I don't see a Barbie tag on it. But they look like Barbie clothes. These are definitely Barbie clothes. Where's the Barbie tags? Do they always have Barbie tags on them? I have no idea. Oh, this one says Barbie. See it? I see it. Does that absolutely 100% mean it's Barbie? Just because it says Barbie? Oh my God, you with the freaking questions. Well, <laughs> See, shut him up. <laughs> I'm a commentator now. Come on, people want to know these things. Shut him up. Uh, you got the mute button on your He thinks I know all the answers to all this stuff. I'm no, I'm no pro. Little dog. Uh, how long have you been selling stuff for? Come on. Oh, my God. Three years. Oh, that's it? That's us. Yeah, look at none of these things. None of these say Barbie on them, but this is definitely a little Barbie skirt. Yep. Right, Holly? Holly's like laugh out loud, Shriker. What's that, what's that one say? Little doll big? Yes, Shriker. That's what it says. What's the bottom word? Oh, look. See, like this one here has the Barbie symbol on it. Yeah. Let's see if it has... It's a legit question, Cat D. See, says. there you go. Cat D, mind your own business. <laughs> oh, no, don't tell her that. She's bidding on this lot. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm joking, Cat D. Don't be mad at me. Uh. <laughs> hey, Kristen. Oh, my God. Little oh, little doll, big dreams. Okay, I understand. Uh -huh. Hi, Heather. <laughs> That says, all right, I'm going to say that these are all, <coughs> I'm going to give my educated, <coughs> I'm going to give my educated um, guess. I'm going to say that these are all Barbie dolls. I mean, Barbie clothes. I'm going to say that this stuff is all, see the Barbie? Oh, it doesn't look like Build-A-Bear clothing. Yeah, it's definitely Barbie. Okay, and then I'm going to show you what else is in this little bag here. All those all those shoes and boots and stuff. It's You don't get the loop, you guys. You just get the loop for the display. That's it. She says, I don't want Barbie clothes. I'm sorry, honey.
Okay, we have Pam at 65. Anybody else want to come in? <coughs> that will at least cover the shipping. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think those clothes could shrink that far. Cat. Barbie weighs 110 pounds. Hmm. Barbie weighs 110 pounds. What in the world are they talking about? Hmm. Oh, God. Is that Barbie's dog? I don't think so. It's a possessed dog. It's their green eyes. Looks possessed to me. Okay, it goes frontwards and backwards. You can't see it, but it goes frontwards and backwards. Then it goes backwards. That's going to go in there. Does it have an off switch? A what? Can you turn it off? Yes, I just turned it off. I just turned it off. Where's those baseball cards? I just wanted a baseball card that fell. Here, I got it. All right, let me get a tote. Let's close this up. Those eyes, right, Sharon? PM's at 75. Uh, Heather's at 80. Could Barbie ride on the back of the demon dog? <laughs> I don't know. All right, you're going to get all of this too. Are those snakes? Snakes, cats, wolves. This is all going to be one lot. Uh, you should have saved the snowman. That's all of it, folks. That's a huge lot. Make it worth my while to ship. It's a big, massive lot. All for one price. Coast is at a hundred. Her ears are a little bit dirty, you guys, but nothing a white bee can't do, and her shoes don't match. But she's got a cute little tutu on. I'm gonna throw her in there too. Is that a build a bear? Yep, that's a build a bear. All right, this is going to send it over the edge. Star Wars. It's Chewbacca. Chewbacca. Chewbacca with Barbie. Oh dear. Come on, that's a nice, it's a nice mix. Chewbacca yeah. with Barbie and Minnie and. Yeah, hold Chewbacca up so we can see him on your other camera. Oh, okay. So we can All see right. how big he is. Okay, I'm gonna um like. I'll take them I'll take them off the, the bench and pile them into the bin and I'll show you how big they are. <gasps> you alright, T? Yeah. Did she say yeah? Yeah. Why? Okay. Is he a build a bear? He is. Oh wow. Awesome. I didn't know I wasn't muted, sorry. 
Star Wars Chewbacca. Yeah, that's a great one. That's a great one. You should have and been a one-off. She's really cute. They're built to bear shoes. You can never go wrong with Chewy. You get the possessed dog. You guys, I found I found a dog last night. We were coming into the community. My husband and I went to go. Uh, I bought an estate, a small portion of an estate yesterday. We had to go last night to go get it yesterday, late afternoon. <clears throat> we were coming into the community, and my husband was driving the big red truck and filled with stuff in the back. And all of a sudden, this little white... I'm like, oh my God, watch out. We're in this community, not my home community, because we were unloading it here, it's right there. There's so much of it. And um, so I jumped out of the car and another car pulled up behind me and I was afraid to pick up the little dog because you know how sometimes little dogs can be a little bit like, nah, 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 like snippy like i was afraid it was gonna bite me so this car pulled up behind me and there was two younger guys in it and um he picked up the just scooped the dog right up and the dog was so friendly and didn't bark or, or do anything and he said i have he said i have a really he's he's like i'm just gonna pile it in he said i can't he goes it's definitely lost it was perfectly manicured like it looked like it just came out of the manicure parlor and um it was a um, what did I say it was T Maltese? It was a Maltese. And, um, so I brought it back to the cottage <clears throat> cause we had to unload the truck and I left it here and I went out driving around the community and I found its mom. She was like frantic looking for her. Uh, her name was Bianca. And I'm like, I pulled up next to her and I said, are you missing a little white dog? And she's like, Oh my God, do you have my dog? She was like so upset. And she was so happy. I'm like, she's safe. She's in my cottage. So I said, jump in my car. I said, we'll go get her. And um, I, I went and we came and I got her and she was so happy. But I called the, uh, the community, the HOA, like he's like the manager of the community. And I said to him, I said, can you send out a broadcast to people and let them know that I have their little dog? I'm sure somebody's worried sick about the little dog this little doggy. And, um, he's like, no, we don't do that. I'm like, well, you, <laughs> they do it for like the water shut off, which they shut up the water like four times because the fiber optics pike is their name. They keep breaking the water main in the community and they have to like keep turning off the water and fixing it. And he said, you have to call animal control. I'm like, I am not calling animal control. Are you kidding? Like somebody's like sick about, I said, all right, if somebody calls you, I said, let them know that I have it and it's safe. So then, you know, I went out driving around and I found her, I found the mother. She was, you know, so excited that she, I had her and she was safe, but oh my God, you guys, my husband like came this close to hitting this poor little dog, like out in the middle of the road. I was like, oh my God, watch out. See, that would be the same with Boston. Like Boston has never lived on a like major like roadway. Like he doesn't even know how to act around cars because he's always been like, there's no cars drive down my street, just residents. And it's, you know, every once in a while you'll get like a work truck or something. Look at how cute this one is. It's adorable. And so is Daffy. He's adorable too. And so is Minnie. Look at how cute these are. This is a gray mini. I don't know what that means, you guys, but she also has this, I don't know what this pouch is. I don't know if this is supposed to go around her neck or I don't know anything about it. Anyway, so I rescued a little dog last night. Did my good deed for the day. Thank goodness uh, I was there at the right, you know, right place at the right time. So I, how far away was the dog from where you found her? Would she have stumbled across the dog eventually? Um, so the dog was like only three houses away from where she lived. The dog had gotten out and was only like three houses away. So I went, it was like kind of like close to the entrance. So I went back to that area and the mom was out looking for the dog. She hadn't gone very far. 
she was like she was like within like two houses of where she lived but i wasn't gonna like you know leave her there and i wasn't gonna sit there waiting for someone to you know come out and barbie plus collection and it went to heather heather blackwell thank you heather <clears throat> She bought it for 150 Okay, so this next lot, you guys, is going to be... Is T ready? She's got her stuff out. Are you ready, T? All right, I'll just do this one, and we'll see when she comes back. This is my lot number six. These will be for personal use, you guys. I'm just selling them as a one-off. Um, they're coach. Um, they look to be, like, size probably 10. Let's see. They are 11. They're size 11. These are nice. So they're coach, size 11. They're, they're the real deal. Um, they have been used, but gently, you know, not, but they're great for the garden or for, you know, going out slushing around in the, the rain, the summer, the winter, whatever. So size 11, coach, um, I guess gardening boots or galoshes. I don't know what you would call them. Let's, let's start them at 30. Um, I don't know if there's going to be room for resale. I don't know what they sell for, but you know, if you have a size 11 foot, I have some nice galoshes for you. Ooh, uh, crochet. Hello, Amber. She likes them for $30. They're nice, right? These are nice. Now, can you put actual shoes in there, or do you have to take your shoes off and wear them? No, no. I think that um, you just, let's see. I'm a size 11. Oh, they fit nice. <laughs> so they're they're finished on the inside then. So they're Oh, nice. yeah, nice and soft. Okay. Very, very soft. And they fit me perfectly. You know, some goulashes you got to wear shoes in. Is there just. Yeah, no, they have a beautiful, like, felt. Lining, nice lining in them. Yeah, nice lining in them. Jeez, try with the questions. <laughs> hey, that's why I get paid the big bucks to ask the questions. Jeez. <laughs> All right, these are awesome. Anybody else? They're size eleven, and they're a true size eleven because I just I just tried them on and they fit me perfectly. So they are a size eleven. Coach boots. We'll close them to Amber and Liz. Are they rain boots? Yes, they're rain boots. I mean, I suppose you could wear them in the snow if you, you know, put on a nice heavy pair of socks, but they've got really big soles on them. So I think that you could probably wear them as snow boots. Yeah, they're nice. Well, Amber's got the high bid. So if you want them, bid on them because we're going to close them. They're black and white. It <laughs> doesn't K KF. Yeah, right. So they'd be sitting in your closet. So don't bid on them. We'll give them to Amber for her niece. Let's call them down. Daniel says he's thinking like sellers. I love it, right? The commentating. You guys like the commentating? Okay, these are going to Amber. Ooh, ah, crochet. I know you're smiling, Amber, because I know you like when I do that. <laughs> going once, going twice, fair warning. And they're going to Amber's house for her niece. She's going to love them. What a nice auntie you are. That's awesome. All right, T, you ready? Yes, ma'am. All right, here's T, you guys. All right. So... This is an ephemera lot. I tried to spread it out. I'll bring everything up close. Um, it's all like Germany and Austria, Bavaria, the 
Olympic Games, a lot of stuff from 71 and 72 and 73. It seems that that's where most of the stuff is. Part of what I'm going to include is this is just some newspaper clippings from a publication called Stars and Stripes. And uh, some of them are from... Welcome, Black Glenn. 1971 and 72, I believe. Um, just some newspaper articles, thing on Bavaria there. Somebody seemed to like this area and kept a lot of the travel stuff from it. So that'll be in there. And then just some random paperwork. There seems to be a map here, a pass for one of the camps, and then a bunch of tickets from some museums. There's a um, museum of the Memorial St. Dachau concentration camp. I paid a bill for something, some points of interest in Nuremberg. With some maps on that. So I'm going to include all that in there. And then this is what we have too the Munich Games in 1972. These, oops, these are postcards, little mini postcards. That, that was from the Olympics? Yeah, that's from the Olympics, yeah. Then a couple of individual postcards. Nuremberg. This says Lights of Wein de Sonne Sonntagskind. It's the wine garden. Alphonse Ziegler. Kielstein House. Kielstein House. This is Zook Spitzy. Spitzy? Yeah, again, a lot of stuff, 71, 72. I guess they maybe went there for the Olympics. I don't know. Oh, here's some more postcards. This is Cafe Un Spitzen House. Oh, menu. menu. That's good. Menus are nice. Yeah. A lot of menu collectors out there. And this is Spitzen Cafe. Guten Appetit. Appetit. Good appetite. So that's a little cookbook? Yeah. Well, it's, a, it's a menu, I think. Oh, it's a menu also. Okay. Yes. Well, that's excellent then. Prices and all. Yeah. That's an extensive uh, yeah. <laughs> menu. How many pages is that? <laughs> yeah, a couple of pages on that menu. In nice condition and glossy. Another big postcard here. Welcome in Maran, 1972. Just a brochure with a map and advertisements. Stuttgart, Germany. Again, it's another map. I'm not going to undo all the maps. I hate to handle these things so much, you know. Does it say what year that one is? This one is...
Oh, that's all right if you can't find it easily. Probably from the early 70s like the other stuff. Yeah, printed in Germany. I don't see the year on it, though. Which and mark 30 cents, so <laughs> it's a while ago. Life and Living, there's a little bit of foxing on this, an unofficial guide for Americans in the Nuremberg Firth area. So it is a pretty extensive guide. Looks like it's all in English. Yes. Oh, look, I saw something that said tea. Oh, look, it's tea. <laughs> Is that a railroad? <laughs> yes. Okay. All right, then we have some ground, some earth from Bavaria. A little hard. We've got a brochure of the guide to Cologne Cathedral. Sergeant says the map was from 74 or 75. Thank you, Sergeant Spork. Quite the architecture there. Yes. Okay, the Rhine from Minsk, Cologne. You'll also find the text translated into English. So this is an extensive map. I'm not going to pull it all out again. I hate to handle all this stuff, um, but it does pull out pretty large. Nice detail in there. And it is in English and in German. This is another postcard, large postcard of the Rhine and the cathedral. European Holiday 73, European Exchange System Travel Guide. I have their signs. Here is the official guide to the 1972 Winter Games in Munich. Oh, this is a good time for that. Olympic stuff's always going to be selling around Olympic times. And I'm in summer games. Did I say winter games? I think it was summer, wasn't it? Well, it's one or the other. <laughs> this, this, whatever this is, it seems special. T, you don't have any 70s Olympic posters, do you? What I have? Who's asking that crazy question? <laughs> Ozma. Ozma, I don't know, honey. Uh, this looks signed by Hans Kofferman, whoever he might be. Okay. It's some kind of cartography. So is that fold up a map or something else? A piece no, of art? No, it looks like it's some kind of facsimile of um, Amsterdam 1630 of von Nicholas Johannes Piskeger. I don't know. I hate to disturb it. I don't, I don't even want to disturb it, guys. You'll have to figure out what it is. But that one was signed in the front, right? Yeah, I, I don't know. You it looks like it's signed, but I don't know if, what. Oh, yeah, for sure. You guys will have to do your research on that one. This is Nuremberg and vicinity, a 150,000 special map location diagram. Plan map of Munich. Let's see if we can get a year on this one. Okay. 
This is map of the Federal Republic of Germany. Federal Republic of Germany and West Berlin. It is a 1973 calendar. It's actually, whoops, it's a little, some of it's a little funny. Um, I was looking through it before. It's like cartoon, cartoonish. Yeah, who's the artist though? The bull's chasing the matador instead of the other way around. The guy's trying to get a shave, but the <laughs> the barber's watching the girls. Yeah. <laughs> looking at the chickies. We had a bicycle collision here. And I guess this is some kind of map. I don't know. Somebody's peeping Tom. I have no idea. Yep. They're carrying the coffin. Only problem is he's not dead. Uh-oh. Curtains fell on somebody. Well, I'm sure there's plenty of humor in here if you could figure it out. Oh, I'm sure. I like this one. <laughs> that one doesn't take much figuring. No, that one doesn't take much to figure out. But this one is from 1973. So that's that. Then we have a Nuremberg for another map. All right, that's the lot. Did I waste my time? Nobody's interested. <laughs> uh, we have Heather MC at 32. All right. How are you, Heather? There's one that has a giant foot on it. I want that one. Hey, Kimberly. All right. She's talking about the Olympic posters still. Heather. All the Olympic posters, yeah. Oh, thanks, Heather. I'm sorry. Kids were here this week. Oh, you're welcome, Sergeant Spork. All right, congrats, congrats. All right. Let's see if there's any interest in this stuff. I'm going to start out with that. It's an unopened 1990 NHL score rookie and traded 110 player card set, factory sealed. Are you doing all hockey? I'm trying to make it all hockey, yes. There is the 1974-75 official guide of the St. Louis Blues. Here's the 77 and 78. Philadelphia Flyers Stanley Cup. The 1973 74 Fact book for the New York Islanders. And guys, don't forget to check these. 1974 Philadelphia Firebirds. And you're referencing all the books in case of signatures inside of yeah, them. Yeah, signatures and such. Yep. 1974-75 Rangers yearbook.
1977-78 American Hockey League. Les Canadiens, 1981-82. Los Angeles Kings Media Guide, 1974-75. Canadian Annual Yearbook, 1973. There are some Eastern Conference Final 1996 Stanley Cup playoffs at Madison Square Garden. Two tickets there. Here's another one. There's another one. Bunch of tickets, actually. Nineteen seventy four and seventy five year book, fiftieth anniversary. Nineteen seventy five, seventy six pro and amateur hockey guide. New York Raiders World Hockey Association. Red Wing Magazine. Canadians, New York Rangers 1981 Stanley Club Cup playoffs. It's another elite Canadian. Another 74 75 yearbook. The Boston Bruins Hockey Magazine. Nineteen seventy three, seventy four, New York Rangers Hockey Magazine. And I will also include a nice little stack of hockey cards. Well, that's quite a few media guides. Yeah. Yes, yeah, you got. One. And some of them are the same this way. You could list one, three, four. Some of them do pretty well if you've never sold them before. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 guides, and then you've got the one, two, three, four, six tickets and the unopened cards. And I will get you guys a nice big stack of, they'll be opened, obviously, but I do have quite a few of hockey cards in a box that I can include. If there's any interest, if not, we'll pass on it. Oh, we've got one bid. Okay. Anyone else? We're going to call it down. All right. Let's sell it to Heather. Thank you, Heather. Yep, Heather's getting some good deals tonight. Heather snatching the deals. 
Okay, so this is what I have. And I have to assume empty? Yes, empty. <laughs> <laughs> yes, empty. And um, they're all from the Regal China Corporation. And this one does not have a top, it still has the cork. And this particular one does not have either. Nebraska Centennial, 1967 to 19, 19, I'm sorry, 1867. And again, Steam Miller, 1967, General Regal China Distilling Company, creation of James Bean Bear, Bean. Oh, Jim Bean. Duh. <laughs> oh, I know. So they're all kind of marked the same at the bottom. We got that one. We got this one. Hi, Cat D. You made it in time for cocktails, for sure. <laughs> And they look like they're all ceramic, right? Yep. Oh, World's Fair, 74. Yeah. Again, this one just has the cork, though, no top. And again, I don't even know if there's a market for these, but this collector, he collected them for some reason. Creations, again, of Jim's... James... Beam, which I'm assuming is Jim Beam. I could be wrong. But you, I would think if it's liquor or whiskey, right? What do you think? You're talking to the wrong person here. And I'll give you a height on these if anybody needs a height. They're pretty good size, it looks like. Yeah, they are. Um, where did my husband put the measuring tape? And James says, yes, decanters sell. The what? The, James says, decanters do sell. Yeah, they're all over about, that one's like 11 and a half, 10. Yeah, they're all around 11, 11, give or take a little bit either direction. No, you're right on stitch. You're high bid at 32, if you're looking at decanters anyway. Anyone else want in? We're going to call it down. Oh, they do. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, Stitch is not caught up to date. Oh, the hockey. <laughs> All right, no worries. No worries. No panicking. All right, we're going to do a bidder pass then. Anybody interested in it? $30. That's okay, Stitch it. No worries, honey. Just make sure you guys are refreshed. We should probably always talk about that too when you guys aren't bidding to refresh. All right, so good. We'll pass on striker. Let's pass. All right. Is 
Just down the back. I don't see her. Okay. But I'm not in the place I can, so. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Is she calling me? Yes. Okay. I'll come on. Hi, guys. All right. I'm going to do a, another drop and stop. I'm going to add this to the screen. And. For 100? What's that? For 100? Yes. Made in the USA, pearl and ranunculus. Ooh, I love ranunculus. Ranunculus are a beautiful flower. That's a beautiful stamp right there. All right, to believe is to look for hidden gifts in each day. Take chances with new experiences. Make dreams come true. Believe in yourself. We all need to read that every day. All purpose greeting cards, scored note cards. Cropping blocks. Blue white duplex greeting cards. This is a brand new greeting. Go over the rules again, Donna. A hundred sets. So a drop and stop. A drop and stop is when you see enough things on the table that you believe is a hundred dollar value, then you write sold in the chat and you get everything that's on the table. <laughs> That's right, Heather, $100. Someone new to love. Someone that brings a special kind of love. Someone that changes love forever. Congratulations on your new baby. No cards, some pink camo fabric, some crayon fabric, Lindsay some Ann's in the chat, doggy fabric. Hey, Lindsay Ann. Hey, Lindsay Ann. <laughs> Some needlepoint kits. Whoops. This one was open. Let's see. Christmas keepsakes. Needlepoint. This one is that. Here's a little soldier one. This one was the one that was open, but I'll include it in. I don't think anything else fell out of it, just that. Here's another hole punch. Pretty butterflies.
Birthdays are like antiques. Yeah, the older you get, the better they get, or something like that. Uh, kind words to comfort you, peace to quiet, care to encourage you one day at a time. Some sailboats, a happy birthday stamp. Bride and groom stamp, another happy birthday stamp, another happy birthday stamp. A little flower stamp, another butterfly stamp. And I don't know if she's here, but I'll say happy birthday to Mama G in case I don't see her tomorrow. Oh, Mama G, happy birthday. I don't know that she's here, but in case she's lurking. Tomorrow's her birthday? Yeah. We have a soul to Heather. All right, Heather. Here you go, sweetheart. You get one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven this nice roll of beautiful ribbon because you're the teacher's pet too. And because I like to share the wealth. All right. Sold, sold, sold. 100. I just, I just think you like giving things away. I do like giving things away. I like to share the wealth. When yep. I have it, I share. I yep. give it. <clears throat> It's just the way it is. Makes me feel good. This is beautiful. These are so nice, Heather. Look at those. Those are so pretty. All right. Sold, sold, sold. Okay, that's going to Heather, MC, craft lot seven, $100. I have that as lot eight. You do? I sure do. I have the coach, the book, the coach boots is six. I have that as seven. The Barbie was five. Or six. The baseball was four. Okay, you left one out. What did, oh, you know what I left out? The big dibble box. Or the drop and stop for 100 to Carl was lot five. Lot five, yep. Okay. All right. So you have this one as seven? It was eight. You have this one as eight. Okay. All right. I'll look at your list. Are you out of those crafts now? Uh, no. No. I am not. Uh, so you found a whole new stash of them. Kind of holding back a little bit on them. Uh, holding out on everybody. What does that mean? You were hiding them. Wanted yeah. to keep them to yourself. Yeah. Hi, Lisa. Okay, guys, here is a lot of comics. Let's see what we got here. You can start these at, start them at 25. Detective, what number? 559. 559. 
Let's see if I can angle this down a little bit. Give you a better view. Bagged and boarded. Yep. All right. Justice League Society, number 31. Secret Origins. Secret Origins again, starring Plastic Man. Ooh, Plastic Man and Elongated Man. What a duo. Look at him tied all together. <laughs> the power of the atom. Number 29. Secret Origins, number 28. Hello, Virginia. Number 27. Number 26. Number 25. Yeah, whenever these people and these Secret Origins show up in a movie, then they really skyrocket. Number 23, look at this guy. He's what your dream, your nightmares are made out of. What's he called? What's that say? Guardians of Universe. No, the other side. Floor. Huh. Flair. I don't Flair remember Nick? him at all. Floridic Man. I don't know. Jonah Hex. Number 21. Uh, number 20, Batgirl with Dr. Midnight. Uncle Sam. <laughs> Floronic, man, yes. Yeah, number 19, Ozma. Thing, the Thing and Rom. Oh, these are Marvel two and ones, okay. 99, The Thing Video Wars. Number 98. The Thing and Iron Man, number 97. The Thing, shh. Marvel 2 and 1. Here's Marvel <coughs> 2 and 1 again. <coughs> Excuse me, I need to get water. And The Living Mummy. The Machine Man. Uh, the Thing and... Jocasta? Is that how you say that? Uh, maybe. I was going to say Jocasta, but Jocasta. your guess is going to find on that one. <laughs> All right. Number 91. Hidden Torch. I like the torch. He was a favorite. Here's the thing with Spider Woman. Uh-oh. I didn't even know Spider Woman existed. Well, there's Spider Man. There's got to be Spider Woman. Sasquatch. Whoa, confronts the power of Scott Sasquatch. Number 83, 60 cents. Number 81, the thing with Submariner. And the thing, Manhunt. Number 77. And that's all of them. I'll give you a count. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, and twenty five. There's 25 bagged and boarded, you guys. All in excellent, excellent condition. Yeah, they, they look nice. Yeah, they're beautiful. They all look like they're brand new. I wish I would have done that when I was a kid. Let's try to save them like that. Right? You and a bunch of other people. You're right. Huh? Pam Henry's at 42. Vintage Memories is out. Was there anybody else bidding? I wasn't paying attention. Nope, just the two of them. All right, let's call it down to Pam. 
going to get a good deal. I think all the other guys fell asleep. Right? I think so. Oh, but Amy's still here. Amy Billings. Marilyn's still here. I think we lulled everybody to sleep. Marilyn. There was Marvel stuff right there, Carl. All those two, uh, team ups and things. Those were all Marvels. Was there Marvels in here? Oh, yeah. Half of them were Marvels. Uh, Pam, I need 55. Five dollar increments, please. You see. See all there's those, all those good ones, yeah. There's Marvel. This is Marvel. The thing, Marvel. Yeah, there's Marvel in here. Marvel again. Marvel. Marvel, Marvel. DC, DC. Yeah, about, about half of them were DC, half of them were Marvel. There's Marvel. Marvel again. Lots Marvel. of things and. Yeah, it's about half and half. Submariner there. There's some decent ones in there. Sorry, Pam. It takes a while to get it. And even the ones that have been here for a year forget it sometimes. Now this is lot number nine, right? That's what I have, nine, yes. Okay. Oh, Steve is out. I didn't even know Steve was bidding. <laughs> there were 25, is that right? Yep, 25 of them. The off-green one. Well, Carl, I think they're kind of all off-green. Which one would you like? <laughs> Carl. <laughs> Let's see. This has got green in it. Everybody's rolling their eyes in the chat. This one's got yeah. green in it. This one's got green in it. That's got green. This one's got. This must be the one he's talking about. This one's got green. Yeah, yeah, and that's he. He's off to the side, so he's off green. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's it. That's the one <laughs> off green. <laughs> You're so smart. I would have never had figured that out without you. See, thank goodness you're here. Yeah, I know. I know what, what questions to ask. <laughs> All right. What do you think, Pam and Amy? Thank Amy's you. out. I think we still have, oh, there, okay, she went out. All right, what are we doing? We're going to sell it. We're going to sell it. We're going to sell it to who? Carl. Carl? Mr. Carl Bach. For 65? 65. All right. We're sold, sold, sold. Well, there's some decent stuff in there. All right, I'm going to do something really, really neat, and then I'm going to do another lot of comics. Something neater than comics? Yeah. Check this baby out. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to put it, I'm going to put myself on screen so you can see it. Oh, motorcycle. Look at that. 
I know, Carl. Did you see that? I sent you an invoice today. <laughs> Carl's like, oh well. <laughs> and there's still there's still one big invoice coming. So you may actually owe me money. I hate to tell you, pal. <laughs> Because that big suitcase full of stuff, I haven't invoiced you, I haven't removed yet because so I haven't shipped it yet. Okay. So, well, this is wood, I assume. It's all wood. $30 start. What's the, is the tires actual rubber or? Nope, all it's wood. It's wood also. Okay, cool. It's all wood. It's really amazing and it's big. Casual flipper. So we'll I get the measurements again. Where's this supposed to go? Oh, it looks like this is supposed to attach to the other side there. Yeah. The other side. Poke it back in there. Yeah. So it measures from front to back 21, about 21 and a half inches. That's bigger than the other one was. Yeah. And it's uh, 10 inches tall. Yeah. You need to hold that next to your head. We can't get a very good. Uh, comparison. Okay. It, it doesn't look very big sitting there. Oh, yeah. See, that's giant. Yeah. See? No, it's not that heavy. But this is going to go somehow back in there. I wonder if there's a piece missing. Looks like it doesn't reach, you guys. Just buyer beware. This, this one here it doesn't reach to there. So, hmm. you know, if you're using it for dis, you're probably going to use it for display. You're going to have to like, just tuck it in. You know, you probably won't even notice that it's not attached to there. So it's got a little defect in it. Do the, but, uh, the wheel spin. Hmm. Do the wheel spin. Mm -hmm. All right. Good. Now, can you crank the engine over? No. Oh, good. <laughs> It's got saddlebags. Guys, <laughs> shine a banana. Hey, casual. <laughs> Look at the headlight on it, the rear light, and even the headlight. Yeah. It's pretty cool the way it was made. Put a build a bear on it. <laughs> oh. Look at the seat. They did a nice job with it. It doesn't say where it's made, it doesn't say made in China, it doesn't say anything. Okay, Vintage Treasures comes in at 30. No, Pam came in at 30. Vintage Treasures comes in at 32 for an American Girl doll. I don't think so. I think it just would be beautiful on display. A lot of detail on it. Well, sometimes you see teddy bears with uh, Harley Davidson jackets on and things. Oh, yeah, that would be so cool. Yeah. Look at the mufflers on it. How awesome is that? It's really cool. The engine on, it's really beautiful. I think anybody who has a Harley would love this to put on display in a man cave. What a nice gift this would be for like Christmas or birthday, Father's Day, or just because. Shanna says, I have a Harley build a bear. I've sold many Harley Build-A-Bears. Build-A-Bear would be probably too big for this. You'd need a smaller teddy bear to put on that. This is going to be called the Wooden Bike. Um, Pam, Henry's, Pam Henry is at 38. Thank you, Pam. Vintage Treasures, thank you, $40. Vermont Teddy Bear, MHM. Mm-hmm. What is that? I don't know what MHM is, but I know what Vermont Teddy Bears are. I have Vermont Teddy Bears all the time. I'm going to do this whole, this whole case of plush next. Because I'm going to decorate that. I'm going to have Chessie decorate it tomorrow for Christmas, for Christmas in July, which is this weekend, you guys. 
um, in case you missed the announcement earlier, it starts at nine o'clock on my channel. And this year it's going to be open to anybody who wants to join in. And it's going to be me, Brian, Mr. Bizalot, and T. Um, I'll put the streams up tomorrow. We're going to parade from one channel to the other. And on the second hour of each channel, providing your camera works and your microphone works, we're, we're inviting people on for 15-minute skits to come in and sell whatever you want. Hey, Maria, in real life. I wonder what Maria is in not real life. Hmm. Hmm. Inquiring minds want to know. Yeah, you need to sell some glass, too. Those, yes, I need to sell those glass. I need to sell that glass. I need to sell the rest of that precious moments. I need to, I'd like to sell those tiger mugs. There's a lot of things I got to sell. Oh, to Pam. Pam Henry. Pam Henry. I'm glad I didn't ship your order today, Pam, because this can go on. A big box and it will come out to you uh ups I already asked for that montana oh jojo where'd you come from long story or short, short story donna will it start donna will it start montana what do you what is she saying can you start the engine oh no <laughs> <laughs> Welcome in, Jojo. Good to see you. Pam is out. Jojo scooped in for $60. All right, let's call it down. Should I sell the, the last one I have, sell it together before you start counting it down? No. And be done with it? No. I only have one left. Do it separate. You think I should do it separate? Yep. All right. We are far too long away on this lot to do it now. You know me. I like big lots and I cannot lie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's give it to Jojo. Second app, Thrifter. Hey, Jojo. Joey. Hey, Maria. Hey, Montana Force. Jojo, where have you been? I've had so many beautiful clothes. I know you love clothes. Um, and it sold for 60. <laughs> Donna, did you get your thing from me? One mm -hmm. thing that she's sending you. No, but I I've been here all day. She she asked me for my address. She said she was sending something. Um, does it say it was delivered? Amy, did you look? I haven't been to the house today yet. I've been working all day. Pat D's. Pat D's, you were just in the chat. <laughs> it's been a while now. <laughs> you were just here, Pat D's. Let's see how many. Let's count and see how many different people Pat D's can come in in one night. This, yeah. makes, this makes number two. So I know four for sure. Amy, can you, um, did you check the, um, did you check the tracking by any chance? All right, I'm gonna do this wall, you guys. I'm gonna do all of this. Um, I'll just show them to you and throw them on the table. Uh, started at 30, okay, Shriker? $30 start. Yep, it's going. Okay, an adorable Build-A-Bear with these adorable, look at these jeans. Oh my gosh, these jeans are so cute. And look at her little, her little outfit. She's so cute. Okay, so that's one. Goofy is number two, or is that Pluto? That's Pluto, right? 
I think so, yeah. Yeah, that's Pluto, sorry. No, Pluto's the dog. This is this is Oh, goofy. this is goofy. Yeah, goofy. Don't, don't tell T. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell T I screwed up again. <laughs> so this is um one of the Disney ones. <laughs> This one is Tyler Teddy's new home. And it doesn't, oh, it does have a tag. Um, it says, I think I can read it. Manifest, oh, Hallmark. It's a Hallmark. Tyler Teddy is a Hallmark bear. And is he jointed? No, he's just a sitting bear. His arms? No. He's just a sitting bear and he's got like a little suitcase oh but the suitcase is a book the suitcase is a book but i can't open it because it's on his arm so i'm not going to take it off you have to take it off the arm to open the book so that's three um this one is for this is disney parks my daughter told me who this one was from is it bolt i'm not sure that this one looks like it should move or something. It's just kind no. of bulky. Yeah. Donna, waiting for a special package for your books? For me? Is that what you're saying? That's goofy. Thank you, Christine. Um, here is Tigger. Disney Parks with the curly, the curly Tigger. Oh, it's from Up. Thank you, Denise. Denise knows her movies. Okay, that's from Up. Chesney did tell me where he was from, but I didn't pay attention. Well, I've, I've seen that movie, but it's been quite a while. This one is a Boston Red Sox. It's got little boots. It's a monkey. It's a Build-A-Bear. That goes on there. This one is a Build-A-Bear, and she's a bride. She's missing her veil, but she's a cute little. It's Doug. Oh, my gosh. Denise knows her movies, too. It's Doug from Up. Um, here is another Build-A-Bear and it is a happy birthday. He's cute and he's got a little space shirt on. He's adorable. Let's see. Told you I'm clearing the shelves. Clearing the shelves. Oh, this might have to be a one-off. We'll see. Here is a cute little cheerleader. And she's a Build-A-Bear also. It says cheer. Here's a Mickey Mouse. This one, I believe, is a Star Wars Build-A-Bear. This one is definitely new old stock. Let's go back to Darth Vader there. He, that Minnie, was interesting. Minnie Mouse. He didn't by chance have a helmet or anything, did he? No, this is the way it came. But it's definitely Star Wars. This is Star Wars, right? Oh, yeah, there. It's, it's Darth Vader. But no helmet. Just Darth Vader's clothes. And this is absolutely adorable. It's Winnie the Pooh in a little bumblebee outfit and it has still has the tag on it um and this one she is with the tag and she is a disney snuggle friends pillows so oh she's cute look at her dress opens up and she's a pillow what little girl wouldn't love this? And it's brand new. That's adorable. My girls would have died for this when they were little. All right, so that's a pretty tremendous lot. Is that everything? There's that Build-A-Bear still. There's this one. It's got some stuff on the tail, but it can be cleaned. And it's... Um, is it Barbie? You guys, do you remember? I don't remember where she's from. This will have to go out in two two bundles, you guys. 
and this one is an ice skating. It is, let's see what the tag says on it. Vermont Teddy Bear Company. Hmm. She's got little ice skates. Yeah, I think that's a little big for the motorcycles. Yeah, and she's jointed, so she sets. Aristocrats, thank you. Thank you, thank you. And that's everything on the shelf. Right? Get ready for Christmas. Yeah, I did, Carl. I emptied the shelf with one big, huge lot. Like I said, it's going to have to go out in two bundles. Let me go get a big tub for it. And I'll show you. I'll count them, and I'll show you one more time what I have. <clears throat> okay. So you got the Vermont teddy bear with the ice skates. That's one. Aristocrat cats is two. The Cinderella pillow is three. The vintage um, Mickey is four. The honey bear poo, new tags is five. The build a bear with the Darth, Darth Vader is six. The bunny with the cheer is seven. The bride is eight. The happy birthday build a bear is nine. The curly tigger is 10. The monkey is 11, 12. Bruce, I don't remember his name already. 13. I think that was right, Bruce. 14 is the Hallmark. 15 is Pluto or Goofy. I don't know. And 16 is this adorable Build a Bear. That's 16, 16 pieces. Nice, big, huge lot. Huge lot of beautiful, most of it new with tags plush. Oh, oh Doug. Doug. Yeah. <laughs> Susan. Yes, full bin casual flipper. Full bin of plush. Mr. Frank Perez, hello, hello. Jojo is out. Who's got the high bid? Heather Blackwell, 100. Yeah, we're still waiting on Amy. Let's see, who else? Mm hmm uh, Jenny was still in. Who? Maria still in. Guys, let me know if you're out. We'll type in out. Thanks, Pam. Yeah, they're all beautiful. I love these. I wonder if these jeans, these jeans remind me of like... Um, I wonder, sometimes they have, oh, she's got underwear on too, you guys. She's got red panties on. Let me see if there's a name on these jeans. No. They remind me of like, um, that American Eagle. I can't remember the name with those pockets. Clothing sellers would know. Jojo, what has this, oh, I keep dropping Hallmark. What has, um, Jolene, what has that? kind of pocket do you remember you clothing sellers so I thought maybe. there's a lot of jeans with decorations like that nowadays no there's a very specific company that does that kind of Just swirl swirl yeah silver jean seven i don't know but there's a very specific company that does them i wonder if they're like con you know how like Star Wars contracts build a bear to make clothes? I wonder if I don't see a tag on them. Miss me, Jordash. No. No. 
They're not true. Right. So we're going to sell it. If anybody wants in, we're going right. to go. Oh, my gosh. Hallmark keeps falling. Stay in the bucket, Hallmark. Wants to stay there. Wants to stay. Doesn't want to get shipped out. Okay. We're moving it. It's going. It's going, going, gone. That's an awesome lot. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Sold to Heather Blackwell. One hundred. Lot number eleven. Heather B. T, you ready? T. Yes, ma'am. Okay, here you go. All right, we got a bunch of movie magazines. 60s mostly, some 50s. Might even be a 40s in here, possibly. December 1956, we got Liz on the cover. And lots of Liz all of us. Okay. It's got to be 60s. I see JFK. 1969. There's again, Screen Life. A little flaking here at the bottom. July 1956. TV Star Directory. Number one, just don't tell me what year it is. I'm sure it's somewhere. I'm sure it's somewhere. But I don't see it. TV's new stars. I had so much trouble getting a year on these. Sorry, guys. July 1962. Photo play, March 1956. Was that Natalie Wood that had that boat incident? Yes. Yeah. Suspicious boat incident, I'll say. Suspicious, <laughs> yes. Silver screen, October... Nineteen sixty-one. Well, I try vintage. This is this is probably the worst copy out of all of them, but I'm going to include it because it's got Bing on it. So and it's, it's, all uh, from it's the oldest one you have there too, isn't it? Yeah, nineteen forty-three. It's 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 in kind of rough condition, but I'm going to give it to you guys just because I feel like you might get something out of it, or maybe just somebody that you know loves Bing. And there may um, be some advertisements in there you could cut yeah, out. So. Absolutely. Absolutely. This is 
Got one page rip here too. April 1961. Sandra and Bonnie. Jackie O, Maria Wallace. July 1970. See, it looks older than 70. Right, it does. Probably the youngest one that's here, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, this one might be 70 or 69. January 1969. John Lennon and his mistress to expect a love child. <laughs> Things never change. <laughs> Movie stars. Betty Grable. This one is, again, a little wear, worn for the year, but I think this is probably late 40s, uh, early 40s, 1943 on this. January 19, I gotta look inside because that may be 55. TV and movie screen. Rock cuts in Janet Lee. Yeah, this one's got some tearing on it. 1961. Elvis. Motion picture. Debbie and Harry. More 1961 on that motion picture and television magazine. And this one is January 1952 on that. A nice uh, Jerry Lewis movie in there. I just saw an ad for Modern Screen, September 1960. This one is bad, and it looks pretty decent. This one might be good, really good. Photo play, Julie Andrews and her daughter, March 1966. Photo play, August 1966. Stars in Trouble. <laughs> right? Uh. Movie Story Magazine. Nineteen forty one, it looks like. Look at these ads though. Yeah, it's definitely war time. It's got a lot of war ads in it. October nineteen forty three. Look at the mask you can wear. Oh. TV Star Parade July. Tommy Stevens, 1961. All right. So how many do we have? We got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. 16, 18, 20, 22. 22 total? Yes. 
Let's make it 25. I have these two or three teen ones. Movie teen. This is Shirley Temple, Guy Madison. Number one, volume one, and this is 1947. This is Silver Screen Teen Album, 1959, and Top Teen Stars. Mills was in that movie, uh, Parent Trap. Parent Trap? Yeah. Yeah. The original one, not the one with uh, the remake. <laughs> yeah, with what's her name in it, Miley. That was Miley in that, or was that? Uh, was it Miley? Am I wrong? Was redheaded girl. I don't remember. Oh, I'm sure he was everybody's heartthrob. Um, maybe it wasn't Miley. I remember who was in the remake now. I don't remember. Can't remember her name, but it, I don't think it was my Yeah, Lindsay Lohan. Yeah. Oh, Lohan. Okay, I knew it was one of those problem makers. <laughs> A redheaded girl, you know. <laughs> yeah, not Miley. Sorry, Susan. <laughs> Thanks, Denise. Hey, Judy. Yes, they were, Susan. Always like the originals better, though. KJ, I need 60, please. Thank you guys. Thanks. T. Yes, honey. You getting tired? Okay. Yeah, and it's pitch black here too. I know it's nine o'clock at night. I don't like you staying there past nine, so. <clears throat> you can stay on though. I'll go home and come back and just say good night if you want to show a few more. All right, we can keep you company in the car, too, if you want to get on the stream yard. Okay. All right, Judy, let us know. We have KJ in at 60. What's the plan for tomorrow? Um, I guess we could go on at the same time. Okay. On your channel? Yeah. Okay. Same, same, same bat time, different bat channel, you guys. <laughs> We'll be on T's channel tomorrow at five o'clock. I was in the ozone. Sorry. That's okay, KJ. All right. Judy says she's out to KJ. We all go to the ozone. 
Was that where, uh, what's his name? Besmo? Was that his name, Shriker? Jeff Bezos. Be oh, Jeff Bezos. <laughs> yeah. How do you say it? Bezos? Bezos. Yeah. yeah. Is that where he flew to the ozone? The, the ozone? He went through the ozone, yeah. He did? He went through the ozone? Ozone layer. He punched a hole through the ozone, yes. He did? Yeah. My husband, low, low orbit. My husband was saying that, um, what's the name of the man that uh, owns Tesla? Elon Musk. Yeah, that he's already developed a spaceship that goes even further than the one he did. Oh, yeah, yeah. And they've been launching for quite a while. They have? Yeah. How come they didn't make a big deal about his launch? Or did they and I missed it? <laughs> yeah, they've been talking about Elon for a long time. I'm putting you on tape. Okay. <laughs> Um, and then okay. you have the uh, Virgin Airlines guy. He's right there too. So, so yeah, there's, civilians, there's yeah. civilians in space is going to be like a, yeah, like if you got the money, right? It's it, it's you know they're starting like a hundred a hundred thousand, but it costs a hundred cost a hundred thousand. Listen, it's like the guys who have private jets, right? That's old news now. It's now private shuttles to the to the moon, <laughs> right? It's unbelievable. But they haven't gone to the moon yet. They just go to outer space. It's in the plan. They're working on it. Did you see how young his all his like command post people were? They look like they were all out of just out of high school. Amy, I'm right here, sweetheart. Why is Amy writing to you? Are you still here? <laughs> Amy, I'm here. <laughs> Why is she saying that? No. <laughs> and why is KJ saying sorry, Judy, and all? It's all right. It's okay, KJ. No worries. <laughs> oh. And why is Christine saying musk? Elon Musk. Elon Musk. Oh, okay. I'm That's thinking, the Tesla I'm, guy. I'm thinking Javon Musk, which is what I used to wear when I was a teenager. SpaceX. <laughs> Didn't we all wear Javon Musk? J-O-V-A-N. Well, you're a boy, Schreiker. You're not a girl. Girls, did you wear Javon Musk when you were growing up like in high school? Did you, T? Mm -hmm. That and Sweet Honesty. By Sweet Avon. Honesty, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet Honesty and Jovan Musk, those were the two cents that I wore when I was a teenager. Denise is like, no thanks, I'll stay on Earth. Amy, no, you're not. <laughs> Me? <laughs> Pam's like, yes, I wore those two cents. Judy's like, Holly. Holly, you're too young. Oh, she's got a new profile picture again. Holly's Holly, good at changing her profile picture. I know, Holly. You're too young. You're you were you weren't even a you weren't even a thought. Amy's like, yep, I wore it. You probably weren't even a thought yet when we were wearing Jovan Musk. Amy, stop. <laughs> if any of my poor friends want to travel to I'm outer space, I've got a good recipe. <laughs> Reds, you're gonna have to share that good recipe with me. Time to make dinner. Susan says. That sounds good. Amy, stop. What's Amy Love, doing? Love's Lemon. Love's Lemon. Hmm. That doesn't, I don't remember that one, but Taboo I do. Oh, Taboo was awful. That was T-A-B-O-O? -O. No, T-A-B-U. T-A-B-U. Oh. It was awful. Did you wear Taboo? No. I liked the sweet smelling stuff. Sometimes Jean Nate, though. I stole oh, from my mother. <laughs> you know what was really popular when I was growing up, and I couldn't stand the smell of it. And uh, my high school boyfriend smelt of it all the time because his mother was so into it. And I think she drenched everything he owned in it. Patchouli. Oh, you've talked about that before. I've never used it. Patchouli. The certain, well, Tom Ford makes a beautiful patchouli. Okay. The patchouli from like the 80s. Okay. Are you going to show a few more? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, Lisa, she's going to show a couple more, but I'm sure she'll help you when she's done, honey. 
Yes, absolutely. I'm going to show like two more lots and then that's it. Eek. Patchouli, Jim, right? Patchouli is supposed to keep the spirits away. I don't know. All right, T, be careful going home. I'll, I'll right. let you win when I pop in the screen. Thank you. Okay. See you later, guys. Okay, this is what I got. It's a it's a two pack. Did you take that away from your daughter just this week? No. <laughs> uh, so this one is a fur reel. This one here, he's a fur reel. So he probably does a bunch of different commands. And then this one is just, I don't know the name on him, but he's a graduation owl. And this one here, he's he makes all kinds of no, uh, nose, noises. I guess you have to touch him in the right spot. And uh, I'm going to do these together for a $30 start. He's a for real. Looks like an owl Furby. It does, right? They're cute. I won't play him again because I've listened to him too many times and it's just a little, become just a little bit annoying to me. What's on his foot? Is that where you push the button? Yeah. Yeah. And I think you have to like position this guy's hands and I think he's supposed to like hug or something. And his, his mouth moves and you have to look. Is he supposed to have a model maybe? Maybe. Sounds or, like it. Or something. <laughs> A lot of these, a lot of these uh, animated for for real ones, you you put stuff in their mouth. It could have been, I don't know if it's a bottle or it could have been a bone or it could have been something. But they're they've got sensors on them. Yeah. See, see, so you touch his foot and he's giggling. So I don't know, you'd, you'd have to look them up, but they've got sensors all over. Maybe that puts them to sleep. I don't know. He snorts, right? <laughs> he does. He laughs. He's ticklish. He's, this owl's cute. He's adorable. They're both very cute. That's nice. You can turn that one off. Yeah. Thank God. Because when Chesie put the batteries in them the other day, I'm like, that's <laughs> enough. She kept playing them over and over. All right. We've got Susie at 50. Greg is out. Let's call it down. Going twice. Oh, oh, oh. 
fair warning. And we are sold. You're going to Susie's house. And she's going to take such good care of you because she loves animated plush. I'm trying to find the on off button. Okay. I packed one today that I forgot to turn off and I didn't, um, I didn't re unpack him because I didn't want to. So he's going off playing. All right. Next lot is comics again. This is number six, Star Trek 50 cents. Let's see if I can angle this down a little bit. All right. I do too, Susie. We have that in common. Number seven, 50 cents, a Star Trek again. When a Toys R Us, a shopping spree. Toys R Us open up or what? Are they still all closed? Yes. They are. They didn't never, I thought they were filing for like protection and then they were going to open back up. Yeah, I think they were going to open up some locations, but I haven't heard that they've done that. Right. Here we have Superman's Lois Lane, DC Comics. Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man Marvel, One More Day, Part 2 of 4. Marvel Fanfare, Giant Size Issue, 51. Fantastic Four. These are bagged and boarded and are in excellent condition. Number 500. This has got the, um, the foil face on it. This is number one. It's marked $10. It's the spec Spectre. Spectre, yeah. Spectre, thank you. This is a Justice League America. It's in excellent condition. That's the big one. Number 200. Yeah. Yeah. This one is called Silk. Spider Cohen. It's marked twelve dollars. It's number one. Number one's are good. Rome Marble, sixty-five cents. Rom. Rom, thank you. That's just got a dollar price tag on it, but you can tell that's an old price tag. Yep. The Warlord, fifty cents. Jonah Hex. Good. Number forty-six. Here's another excellent condition Star Trek. Number two. Number two. And then we have number three. And then we have number four. And we have number five. That's a nice little run. Let's see if there's any more. Star Trek number 50, double-sized. Oh, where's Carl? He likes the double-sized ones. <laughs> the Mighty Thor. Number... I love Thor. 382. Did I ever tell you the story about Thor? I'll tell you that. Oh, yeah. We all know your Thor stories. <laughs> Another time. <laughs> <laughs> number four. Love Thor. Number 85... Oh, so they did get some stores back open then. Good. Enjoy. Oh, we did? Near Atlanta. Here's X Force number 15. This one's marked $25. Is it X Force 15? Hmm. Is that a $25? Oh, Deadpool. Deadpool's in it. Might be one of early Deadpool's. I don't know. Batman Detective Comic DC. Invis invisible, invincible, invincible, invincible Iron Man. Number one. And here's Thor again. My precious is Thor. Look at Thor. Come on. Are you serious? <laughs> the four, Thor 465, was it? Come on. That's Thor right there. I don't know. He was um, 465. Have you watched the Thor movies? No, never. Oh, 465. Here's 466. And then we have number one, Alpha Fight. Alpha Flight, number one? Flight. Wow. Dynamic, a oh, double size issue. 
another double size. See what see what Carl was missing? Aquaman size size thirty two. <laughs> right. Here's here's an Archie mixed in with these guys number thirty two Sabrina. Um, this one is X Men Marvel. Here's Superman and Aquaman. Defending the Deep. That's awesome. Check out that cover. I was going to say, does do the bubbles have a, are they hollow or anything? No. No? Okay. No, but that's a great. <laughs> Thor is dreamy. He is Holly. He <laughs> really is. I'll tell you the story sometime. Superman, number 64. There's Carl. He says, I'm not missing a thing. All right, Carl, right. just making sure. Number six is Aquaman. Number six is Salvation Run. Number 19 is Supergirl. Number 73 is Green Arrow. Number 74 is Green Arrow. These are an excellent, like, brand new condition. All right, and then we have <laughs> the official. Wanda's calling out Carl. Carl's been out roaming. <laughs> of course, his best friend is on. I don't blame him. I used to, I used to be in there. That's how I met Carl. I used to be in there all the time too. Number five, the official Justice League America. Thank God for uh, multiple devices. We can stream on, you know, two channels. Justice League America. I'd be in there giving my friend a shout out, saying hello to him if I wasn't on. So that's number five, number six, and number seven. And then here is Before the Titans, Doom Patrol, part two of two. Doom Patrol. Thor um, wants to do a meetup. Who does? Thor. He does. Marilyn saying. He does not. I don't even know what Thor is these days. That was like 30 years ago, 35 years ago. Well, you need, ago. you need to watch the movies then. Number 26, comic interview. This one is a Valent. How do you say that? Valiant. Valiant. This one is Dark Horse Comics. I don't know. Do you know Dark Horse Comics? Yeah. Grindle. GSA? GSA, Justice Society. Oh, Justice Society, number 73. Blue Beetle. Where's Beetle Gal and Beetle Juice and Beetle Bug? Holly likes Loki. Oh, man. Thor's brother. Oh, Loki. So she's seen the movies. I haven't. I don't know who Loki is. Number two, now look, can't, can't <laughs> we all just get along, right? Can't we all just get along, you guys? Not Justice, always. Justice League America, did you say? Yeah. Justice League America, look at that crow. Scarecrow with the flash outfit on there and superman they're they're goners batman yep that's a scary cover i don't like that cover because they're almost look like they're like on crosses like the crucifix yep i don't like that mm, there's a number zero who's the maker of this one image where do you see that upper left you can see the GE. Yes. That's image. It's pretty. Here's another Justice League. The, the outside of this is a little bit uh, dirty, you guys, just so that you know. But the but inside is fine. Number 42. Red is leaving. Here is... Oh, good night. Good night, Red. Good to see you, honey. 
I hope all is well. Amazing Heroes. Is that the Joker? Yes, it is. Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Who's that guy right there? I don't know. I don't see any, but I don't know his name. And here's a beautiful Justice League. Number four, Red Tornado, Aquaman, Elongated Man, Green Lantern, Batman, and Superman. The official. What number was that? That's all of them. That's number four. Number four. And that's all of them, folks. <laughs> Wonder Woman's like, I see her. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. 22, 23, those Star Treks are in excellent condition. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. This is a nice one, right? Alpha flight, yeah. 43, 44, 45, 46. 47, 48, that made my heart spatter a little bit. 49 and 50. <laughs> Did you hear me take a sigh? <laughs> Sorry. Uh -huh. Yeah, it happens. She's <laughs> that was fast. Yeah, I told you I'm close. It's not far. Oh my gosh, you got home so quick. Yeah. That's got to be nice, though. Oh, yeah. Ten minutes. Psh, psh. Yeah. I know. That's like me. Two miles. Two it's miles. Four. It's four miles. Yeah. For you, it's four. For me, it's exactly two. Greg Luss comes in at 125. It's a nice lot. Comics. What was the price on Alpha Flight? Um, Kyle. Like it was a dollar, I think. Let's see. How many times can a mosquito bite you before it, it gives up? Oh, no. Is that mosquito still there and alive? Yeah, it still bit me again, unless there's another one in here. Oh, my God. Where there's one. What does he want to know about it? The price. It's a dollar. It's a dollar. Crawls out with the sad face. This is a job only we can handle, T. <laughs> okay, it's on you. Oh, Shriker, too. It's a job only Schreiker can handle, actually. Greg yeah, is, you were handling I, it long before I was. I've never seen Greg bid an even number. Greg, are you right. feeling? Greg are you, <laughs> Greg, are you feeling all right, honey? What's going on? He always comes in at like one fifty two or one fifty one. Well, he should have been 144 on this one, but he didn't do it. So, 
Right. See what Kyle said. One forty-four. Thank you, Wanda. Kyle was wasted. He meant to bid one forty-four. <laughs> no, Greg is wasted. <laughs> Yeah, Greg, that's what I said. Oh, and I said Carl. No, I said Carl. Kyle, I think you said. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't. They had 135. Yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah, but you still could have done like added a one or something. <laughs> that extra dollar, Greg, really means a lot to me. Could you just be bid, please, and add a one? <laughs> we added 15. <laughs> what? We added 15. I know. I just <laughs> I just want the extra one, you know, e-bagging. <laughs> okay, let's call it. Uh, we got to wait on Saxton. Saxton. Okay, he gave me the one. Thank you, Greg. <laughs> Carl! <laughs> Carl. <laughs> Give it to Carl. He's so fresh. I was, honest to God. He's dying to tap that, type that in. Greg comes in at 180. <laughs> Greg, 181. Dude, what's wrong with you tonight? <laughs> Greg! I don't know what's wrong with him. He's, he's off. He's just off tonight. He's just not himself. Carl is out. Sad face again. Carl's had a lot of sad faces tonight. Rummage Raiders is out. Some good ones in there. Thank you, Carl. These outs and ins, I mean, that's my new strategy starting tomorrow. What's that? I don't know. Greg's going to have a new strategy. Ah. He's going to go out. Then he's going to come back. He's going to go out again. It's okay. I don't know what Stargetty. How could it call a spell check to Stargetty, Greg? <laughs> I've never even heard of it, that. Strategy, yeah. I know it's supposed to be strategy, but I never heard of Stargetty. I don't even know what you guys are talking about. Oh, the beer is my power. <laughs> First typing lesson for all of us, Marilyn says. <laughs> I don't know. We, we don't get to see Kyle Turan bid very often anymore. Where is he? Well, he was here earlier. Taranzio? I didn't see him. Yeah. He said hi, I think. Like D has more outs than the baseball. Okay. Is, is there water in beer, Carl? <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> First silk number one in 25 variant mm -hmm. is cool. They'll go up in value if you just sit on it. All right, whatever Kyle said. 180 to Mr. Greg Lusk. Thank you. You wanna see another um, box of comics you guys or should we call it a night? What do you think? I've seen enough comics. You have? I don't think Marilyn has. You think Marilyn wants to see more? I don't know. She was bidding, wasn't she? Only three outs per inning. That's my limit here. <laughs> Just lady bidders. <laughs> Who else wasn't? There was, there was somebody else. Yeah, see, Marilyn says, sure. See, there was somebody else bidding, too. Well, Saxton was there. A few yes, Saxton and uh, Mrs. Biller, Billings. The Billings. I still want to know why Amy wanted to know if I was here. Amy, you asked if I, <laughs> where I was. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe she didn't see you. Aw, thank you, Carl. All right, Can't forget see. Pam, for sure. Let's see what's in this box. They're random, you guys. You know that. So I don't I don't put them. Oh gosh. Close your eyes. Courtney's not, Courtney's not here, is she? I haven't seen her. I haven't seen her. 
Skin Trade. Oh, oh it's not that bad. That was a book George R. R. Martin wrote. So. All right. Scarlet Spider. It's a Marvel. Yeah, I didn't see Rebecca tonight. Was she in? No. Um, T, I'll let you read that. Mythopolis. Mythopolis. Here is a Marvel Now. The, the Superior Spider-Man. Is this like the R-rated of comics we're looking at here or something? I had no idea. The Spectacular Spider-Man. Yeah, but once you open the covers, these aren't R-rated, so don't Amy, worry about it. Amy, stop saying that, Amy. Stop. What is she? Oh my gosh. Ooh. This is are plus size coats. I could do is, plus size coats. This is a pretty one. Shiny. It's shiny, shiny, pretty, pretty. How about Master of Kung Fu? Kung Fu fighting. 47. Um, The Incredible Hulk. Three seven six. Oh, really, Greg? Wow. Three twenty six. James Bond Jr. didn't even know he existed. No, I didn't even know there was a junior. Number one. Number one. Who's this guy? Captain Canuck. It's number two, thirty five. I wonder where he's from. I have no idea. Well, can it Canada probably? <laughs> Internals, Spider Woman. Lindsay three. ends like begging for purses in the chat. <laughs> what what number on Spider Woman? Um, number twenty eight. Street Fighter Two, number one, raw edition. No idea. I read the titles like I know what I'm talking about. Um, number 36, Green Lantern and Poison Ivy. Here's the ultimate Miss Marvel. Here's uh, the spectacular Spider-Man, number 21. Lost Legions Lost number seven, Legions Lost number one, Legions Lost number two, Spider Man number 13, 2099, 2099, Green Arrow 102, War of the Worlds number 39. Number 39, the final glory, you guys. It's the final glory, you guys. It's the final glory. It's for the last time. Never happen again. Never happen again. And it's an excellent condition. Excellent condition on that one. All right, let's go a little bit faster. Yeah, we have fun doing that, don't we, Marilyn? <laughs> the ultimate numbers. doom. The ultimate enemy. Oh. <gasps> Oh, no, it's the death of Spider-Man. Yeah, it, it happens every other comic. Right? <laughs> if not every comic. All right, it happened in that comic, too, and it happened in that comic, too. We need $5 increments, please. Adventures versus Ultimates. The Ultimates. Guys, what's going on here? Everybody's breaking the rules. Marilyn, so Blatt, Marilyn Blatt's the high bidder at 61. Greg's now at 66. All right, so now you have number 30. Hefties. No, I'm not going to sell anymore, honey. I came home. I'm tired. I did ballet this morning. I did aerobics in the pool this morning. Wiped me out. 27. And um, 27. I don't like to stay at the store when it's too dark. It's too dark there now. Miller World Annual 2000s. Ooh, look at this one. This one's cool. Teen Titans. Teen Titans. Look at his face. <laughs> Raw. Number 15. 
nervous wrecks. Number one. Sorry, Pam, I need 76. The Phantom, number 57. <laughs> All Star Western DC, 25 cents, 48 pages, number nine. The Amazing Spider Man, 699, the world's greatest superhero. Here's a can of Coke. It's a Marvel. The one. Limited series. Number four in a six issue limited series. Is that good? I don't know about that. But. Radical Dreamer, number one. The Savage Dragon. That's you. That's you. That's you, Striker, right there. The Savage Dragon. <laughs> Uh, the Savage Dragon again. Pam, I need 81, please. And the Flying Frere. Ghost of the Future, the Incredible Hulk. Alan Moore Province. I don't know. Ghost Rider. This one's damaged on the top. What number? Number 61. But this number 11 is awesome. Batman 66. Look at the Joker. Ha, 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 ha. I liked the Joker. I know you weren't supposed to like him because he was evil, but I liked him. Anybody else like the Joker? Ooh, look at this one. Ghost Rider. Jaws. I think it's like Jaws the movie. Blood in the water, you guys. The most savage shocking of all. Number 16. Here's a number 13 Spider-Man. Web Spinners. Tales of Spider-Man. Here's an X-Man, number 443. Here's another Spidey, number 15. From the night sky. That's pretty awesome. Here's another Spider Man, number 14. The Invincible Iron Man. This one's a nice one, number four. This looks like it's brand new. Good night, Greg. That's the annual, annual number four. That's a nice one. And then here's another annual, one dollar. All right, we're almost done with this. Here's another Spider-Man, number seven. And the magazine of weird humor, 20 cents. It's called Plop, Fly Me, I'm Josephine. Weird. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know what that's all about. We started off weird and we're going to end weird. <laughs> Mighty Mouse, number one. Marvel Age, number 11. Hello, Denali. X Men Deluxe. Superman for the Animals, number one. Oh, where's Elizabeth? Look, he's got a little kitty cat on his lap and his arms. Good night, Greg. X Factor, X Man Deluxe. Betty and Veronica, Summer Fun. It's the Giant Series, you guys. Number 199. Betty and Veronica again. 15 cents with the groovy pants. The ultimate Spider-Man. Death of Spider-Man again. The ultimate FF number one action comics and action comics again. That's it. That's the whole box. That's everything. That's all she got.
Plow comes in at 8 of 6. Vintage Treasures comes in at a Benjamin. Hey, ding, 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 ding. Nice to see you, Paul. Kyle comes in at 110. Did you count them? I didn't. I don't feel like counting them. Did. I think Dee did, yeah. There's 120 women. How many comics was there? She, D. Scott wrote possibly 73. Oh, okay. And Kyle's in for 130. Oh, all right. I was reading the numbers and the thing thinking so many comics. Were, like there's 100 in there? Mm -hmm. I think I have a pothos in a vase, and I think that maybe there I gotta take the water out of it. This, um, you know, I'm rooting it, and I think maybe that's where the mosquito might be coming from. You know, where they say there's still water mosquitoes breed, because I just saw another mosquito fly by. It can't be the same one. I've got three bites on me. Oh, Amy, you have a door open somewhere or a screen broken? Donna, did you email me Amy Biller's address to to mail her coat? I didn't, Amy. I completely forgot. I'm going to write it down right now. From Amy Dorito. Oh, did I? I think I did. I don't know. I'll check tomorrow. I'll check tomorrow. I am a mosquito meal. Look at me. I'm scratching all over the place. I got. You should be eating more garlic. <laughs> I got one over here. I got one over here, like between my fingers. And I got one on my shoulder. I got three mosquito bites. Okay, Amy, thanks. I think I did, but I'm not 100% sure. But I, I'll do it tomorrow. All right. Is Kyle the winner? All in, all done. 150 for Mr. Kyle Elliott. Congrats, Kyle. Awesome. All right, you guys. Let's put everybody on the screen and say thank you, thank you, thank you. We have two people wanting to experiment. D. Scott and Lisa. SoCal Lisa. Okay. All right. So let me drop the link. There it is in the chat. Make sure your cameras are on. Thank you, Pam. Thank you so much. Just click on the link, you guys, and it will take you right in, and I'll see you in the back room, and just put your camera on. Or anyone else that wants to try. There's Lisa. Give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up, Lisa. You ready? Hi, Lisa. Hi. Or anyone else. Okay. Okay. First thing, Lisa, really important is you have to mute your YouTube. Lisa, you ready? Okay. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. Hi. Did that okay. work? Yes. Hi. 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 Nice to meet you guys. So Sweet. nice to meet you, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not going to bother anybody. I just wanted to make sure I know how to get in. I really appreciate it. And I'll come in probably Saturday afternoon. Awesome. Okay. Your okay. volume is great. Your picture is great. Okay. So all you have to do is just click on the link just the way you're doing it. Are you using your laptop or your phone? I am. Okay. 
Yeah, and if anybody else is going to use their Mac, you have to download Chrome in order yes. to. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and um, it looks like your camera is great. Do you have something that you want to hold up just to test it to see how? Um, it works? let's see. I'll just grab one of my books real quick. Pretty. Look, she's ready for Christmas in July. Yes, yes, I'm getting ready. <laughs> Look oh, at you. You're so cute. I love it, Lisa. That's perfect. Thank okay. you so much. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Okay, okay thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, D. Scott, I need to see you. I don't see you. You have to put your camera on. <laughs> nope, the camera's on. It's shining up at the ceiling. Oh. You don't remember what a ceiling looked like? <laughs> I have to be able to see you. If anybody else wants to try their camera, you can come on in. There's the StreamYard link. D. Scott, I can't hear you if you're talking to me and I can't see you because your, your camera's pointing to the ceiling. So you have to point it to yourself and I need to be able to see you as a human being. And just so you guys know, when you come into StreamYard, at the bottom of the screen, there's a little toolbar that says cam slash mic. So if you need to like switch over to an external camera or a microphone, that's where you would go to do that. So that might be a possibility. I'm not sure. Oh, Amy, you don't have to do that. I, um, I'll pay for it. Amy, you're so sweet. And she put her email address in. Oh, thank you so much for doing that. I got my Amy's mixed up. I sent Amy Dorito, Amy Billings coat. Oh, okay, there, there's D. Hey, buddy. Hello, can you hear me? I yes. can hear you. Oh, okay, cool. All right, good. Hello, just need to try this again. Yeah, you're good. It's Hello, perfect. Hello, Hi, Darren. How are you? I am. I am okay. Thank you. Um, but I also wanted to mention um, I might not be able to do the stream Saturday to to do this. Um, <laughs> it's a um, I'm going to say it's a problem with other users on this line that I'm on. Um, I got some kids that are going to be coming in here and they got supercomputers for gaming. And so that knocks me out. So if that happens, um, that that that'll be the reason why I will not be streaming to do this. But if okay. I get on early you enough, have, you have a whole day from nine a.m. to one a.m. to kind of get in there. Are, are the gamers going to be on early in the morning or late in the night? <laughs> uh, well, 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 one of the one of the well, yeah, they they're on late at night, but basically early in the morning is when I try to shoot for it because they're sleeping. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. so I'll yes, try you, that. Yeah. So you've got me Saturday morning you can try to come into. And then yeah. on Sunday you have um, Brian. Start Sunday morning. Too. Brian. Brian. Brian starts Sunday morning. Yeah. So, I mean, if, if I miss one, I'll try for the other. But if not, I know later in the day, if they're here, I know later in the day, it's a, it'll be a wrap for me. I won't be able to do nothing but watch you guys. <laughs> All right. Well, your, your, your volume is great. Your picture is great. Your background cool. looks fantastic. Yeah, your background's cool. awesome. Yeah, right now, right now I'm closed. <laughs> it looks like a it looks like a green screen. Oh really? Oh wow. Yeah. No, it's Doesn't not. It? No. Looks good. Not a green screen. It's awesome. <laughs> Look, thank you. Thank you, Donna. Okay, so that's good enough for me, but I just want to give you a heads up on that. And All I right. appreciate it. And I'll just we'll see what happens come Saturday. All right. All right. Sounds All good. Right. Thanks, Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hey Lenny. Can I fancy? All right, anybody else want to come in before we say good night, you guys? Just click on that link if you want to come in, test your camera. No. Okay, they're good. Shriker, thank you so much. Thanks for all your help. As always, we appreciate you more than you know. Thank you so, so much. You're phenomenal. You're the best. You're even though you've become a little bit of a pain in the ass with all of the questions that you have. 
<laughs> but you know what? Everybody else seems to like it just fine. They, they love it. They love it. I just don't have all the answers all the time. Well, that's so. why I ask the questions. So we can all find the right answer. But thank you. Yes, it's it's really nice to hear the chatting in the chat. So thank you. Can I um, oh Dee, you and I got your message. We'll wait till the auction weekend and then we'll figure it out on Monday. Yeah. Yeah. Good night, sweet sweet dreams, everyone. Sweet dreams. Thank you, everyone. Really appreciate everyone coming in. We'll see you tomorrow night. T's channel, five o'clock. All right. She'll put up a stream. We'll see you then. Bye, Bye. Shrike. Bye.